You think it ain't real out here in these streets? It's real out here in these streets. The, the, the streets of Vegas. go man the streets of vegas season three episode 10 with my man ran black Ski! finally catching up to this brother man we got a lot to put on the table man it, it's been a minute it's been a couple weeks so. yeah yeah but, but we got it together though Absolutely. you know what i'm saying it Absolutely. happened like it was supposed to happen Absolutely. you know um and uh, i was trying to figure out you know what, what my approach was with you and i'm like well is he an artist is he an executive is he a producer <laughs> He's all of that and more. All of that you know what I mean? Some, yeah. in, in, in business and life, this man wears a lot of hats, man. He has, has, a, has a grind out of this world. And uh, when I was talking to um, Jero about you, he was like, man, I'm surprised you ain't heard. I'm like, yeah, my ear is on the streets, yeah, bro. Absolutely. I don't know how, absolutely. you know what I mean? Yeah, he told me though, he hit me like that. Yeah, uh, and he's like, I man. I think I wanna say I seen him on your show. I'm watching mm -hmm. okay, the show. Okay, okay, okay. I'm like, Jay, how I get on that show? Yeah, he's like, don't worry yeah, about it, I already yeah. told him about you. I'm like, that's yeah, what's yeah. up. As soon as yeah. he says, I'm like, man, bet, yeah. man, let's, let's get it in, that's man. What's up. And uh, yeah, I seen the show what y'all did too. And he and you know he was telling me he's like, man, I'm, I'm surprised you ain't heard about that. I'm like, man, I'm mad I ain't heard about yeah, this. Yeah, nah, cat. it ain't nothing. Cause I try to keep my ear to the streets. They man. say Vegas small, but it ain't that small. It ain't, it ain't that small, yeah, man. And, and speaking of, of here, um, Vegas, man, I understand you said you grew up in in Spring Valley. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Spring Valley, man. Uh, Cashman Junior High School. Uh, okay. Rex Bell, Clark High School. Rex Bell, Chargers, man. let's get it, baby. Yeah. Um, but Clark yeah. High School, too? Yeah, come on, man. Man, the Chargers? Man. Yeah, come on. Man. man. Listen, dude. you know, when we was in school, man, we used to take, this was when Chargers in San Diego, right? Okay. So okay. we would take San Diego Charger hats, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it say San Diego and the Chargers, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So we'd, we'd take a, a like a Sharpie mm -hmm. and black out Sam, black out D, mm -hmm. D I E, and mm -hmm. leave go Chargers on the Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's cold. <laughs> You could have sold them. You could have been selling them. Oh, uh, no, nah, they would have got us for some kind of uh, infringement. But yeah, we used to do that, man. I'm a man. big charger. I'm, I'm always a charger, man. That's creative, though. It's good years, man. Yeah, yeah good years. years. Man. Like I was telling yeah. you earlier before, like, it was a lot of lions mm -hmm. in, in, in them four years of high school. Yeah, I, mean, I can, yeah. I can yeah. name all kinds of superstars and ballers and just very talented people, mm -hmm. man, that came and out. It, and that, it made that you time. like level up your game if you around them, them that type of cat. If you want to be noticed, you're going to have yeah, to. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, you know, at that yeah. time, it's high school. Me and Jay talk about it all the time. It's high mm -hmm. school. Like, a lot of stuff we did was for the girls. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. wanted to be recognized how, how, man, how much of it wasn't for the girls, man? You know what I mean? Oh, shit. Yeah. That's, you, that, you talking about 20%, maybe. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you talking about man. 20%, maybe. But at that time, being young and dumb, you know what I mean? It was just the attention. You wanted to be yeah. recognized. And I wouldn't even yeah. say attention. just want to be recognized. Recognized. You want to be seen, you know yeah, especially yeah. in high school, man. You know what what I mean? Them so, years are very critical to like development, self-esteem and all, you know, yeah, that kind of fucks with you, yeah, man. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. What did you, uh, you you played sports in, in high yeah, school? Yeah, I played right? uh, yeah. I played baseball, football, I ran track a year, mm -hmm. uh, basketball, like. A little I, bit of everything. I'm gonna be honest with you, I played sports to keep my grades up. Okay. You know what I mean? Why, because it, it would make you, if you wanted to be on the team. Then it would be on the team, you had yeah, to have a certain yeah. grade point average, yeah, you know what I mean? So yeah. it, it helped me, uh, like I, I wasn't, like I was, Hit and miss in baseball. If yeah, I wasn't striking yeah, out, I was hitting yeah, home runs. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it was good all like just playing kept, those yeah, sports just kept all me, year round. Just kept me motivated to keep my yeah. – because I wasn't really a school guy. Like, I okay. didn't – school wasn't something I went home and was like, yo, I work out this project. Like, yeah. That me project neither, get man. done just, the day I, before I really, school. Yeah, but I, I do. Just, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, I never really – like, I know school was important and looking at but I never – I just felt like, man – I got to do it, I'm going to go through it, but I've always been like an entrepreneur. I wasn't passionate yeah, about it. Yeah, exactly. You know I, mean? I did it because I had to, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, My passions yeah. were elsewhere, mm -hmm. where I think that's the reason why I went into teaching, you know what mm -hmm, I mean? Because mm -hmm. I wanted to show so many students in our system, especially here in Vegas, with yeah, us being having yeah. such a low uh, academic focus here. Yeah, um, yeah. So many students 
are where we were. Yeah. You know what I mean, this, I'm talking yeah. about 96. I graduated 96. Okay. It's 2019. Okay. About to be, yeah. about to be 2020. How we still. Yeah, we still like, in the yeah, same boat. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. I feel like my, my, my guy, God, mm -hmm. he, he, he pushed me in a direction to uh, give back to those kids mm -hmm. that needed you most. You okay. I mean? they, okay. They, they look up to the coach. They look up yeah, to the Yeah, they, they do. They, they, they that mentor. The and yeah, yeah, yeah. Most yeah. kids are listen to that ex sports player mm -hmm. more than they will their English teacher or their yeah, math teacher. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I felt like given the path that God was pushing me to, that was my that was my job. Yeah, you know, my yeah. job at that time in life was to give back to these kids from a standpoint that you coach. You coach. They're gonna yeah. listen to anything and you, you say coaching you in coach. sports yeah. and life. And life, yeah, period, yeah. everything. Do yeah. you feel that was that was like your purpose? You feel that's your purpose? Oh uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mm -hmm. think my purpose is I I, I have uh, better relationships with kids than I do adults sometimes. Yeah, yeah, you know I, mean? I, I can see, I And, I, and see I, have a, I have this thing about me, like you can't, you can't teach an adult something. Yeah. Once they set in their yeah. way, they set in yeah, their they ways. Say, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? So yeah, I, yeah. I have a hard time, even in my label, even with Crown Republic, and mm -hmm. when we bring in an older artist and we're mm -hmm. working, we're trying to redevelop things that mm -hmm. they think they already know. Yeah. It's always yeah. a headbutt. They say, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, because well, they're older can, and they yeah, stuck they think they way. know, this is what I want to yeah. do, this is the way I want to do yeah. it. Yeah. Where when yeah. you work with kids, mm -hmm. even if they think they know, mm -hmm. you can always see when the light come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, and they'll man. listen and they, oh, they, they I they, thought I knew I don't even yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, let me shut up and listen to this dude okay, real quick. Okay. You know what I mean? That's and then they go back to that coaching thing. Like mm -hmm. they're already open and receptive to listening to what you're gonna teach them about that sport. Mm -hmm. So if you can slide in some mentorship, the life stuff, some life, yeah, some education, yeah, they're, yeah. they're taking it in more because yeah. in the midst of you telling me about how to get better at football, mm -hmm. somehow you talk to me about Academics, yeah, and it went right back to football. Right back, yeah, it's all yeah, receptive. Yeah, I grabbed yeah, it all. Like, damn, yeah, coach yeah. said that too. You know yeah, what I mean? So, yeah. and, and it's um, teaching them, you know, absolutely. valuable life skills yeah. and stuff too, yeah. man. So yeah. that's just been. Uh, I think that's just you know. I got how, a how did you get into? Uh, how did you get into teaching, man? Oh uh, man, I, I started a nonprofit in 2005. I had come back from practice squad at the Jets, trying to be in the NFL. It just didn't work out for me, okay. and then. Uh, Played for the Jets, NFL. Yeah, I played for the okay. Jets for okay. two okay. years, practice squad. So okay. I wouldn't even say I played for him. I, I got mm -hmm. beat up on. For okay, two years. okay. You know what I mean? Well, let's 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 predate that. So how did you get there? It's like you you went like from high. So school. So I went from did high you, school. Uh, where would you play your ball at? Clark? Clark at Clark okay, High. Okay. I played a uh, quarterback, running back, mm -hmm. safety, mm -hmm. linebacker, and then uh, I had the opportunity to go to um, man. Any college I really wanted to. You know mm -hmm. I mean, I had scholarships, Miami, SC, you getting stuff like, sent off. Everywhere. And what was position crazy. was this for? Like what? Like uh, well, you know, at the time I was really playing quarterback, and my my big thing was running back. My freshman year, I set a bunch of records as a running back at, as a freshman, mm -hmm. and then when I got moved up to varsity as a sophomore, they mm -hmm. they they moved me to quarterback. Mm. And I didn't understand why. That's a whole different. It's a whole different animal. animal. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's yeah. two, it's two, two you totally different defenses things. You know I mean? and you got to know everybody's job. Listen, on the, to yeah. play quarterback, you have to been playing it for a while. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, you can't yeah, be really thrown yeah. into quarterback in high school and be like, okay, this is what you do now. Mm -hmm, so it was mm -hmm. that was a tough transition for me. Mm -hmm. But because I was an athlete, one of the most um, athletic persons on the team, mm -hmm. coach was like, we need you at quarterback. Mm -hmm. And we had a running back at that time by the name of John Holiday and, and, okay. and 50. I mean, we had athletes that could run the ball. Yeah. It's kind of like yeah. the NFL. You can find yeah. a running back You can find anywhere. a running back. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. it's yeah. hard to find that quarterback. And I was a natural leader, so coach them kind of grew me under mm -hmm. Jay Snowden and mm -hmm. Phil Glover when oh, we won state right? that year. Mm -hmm. okay. So mm -hmm. I came in as a sophomore, mm -hmm. started on that team. We went undefeated one state. And then coming in my junior year, Coach felt like we have our quarterback already. Mm -hmm, We're mm -hmm. not looking for a quarterback. Mm -hmm. So we ran option and uh and wishbone and all, all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah where yeah, I, yeah. I wanted to throw the ball. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But they want to run it like they wanted you they wanted well, yeah, they, yeah. this is yeah. what they told me, the real mm -hmm. talk. Mm -hmm. You are a run first, pass second quarterback. Mm -hmm. So when being mm -hmm. told that, like mm -hmm. when you get out there and start taking snaps, yeah. Your focus isn't on throwing this ball. Yeah, you ain't even thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, my focus is trying to run the ball and pitch the yeah, ball, things of that yeah, sort. So yeah. I went to some camps and tried to get better at quarterback and, you mm -hmm. know, got some sponsorships from Nike and Reebok my junior senior Did you year. feel like that was your position, though? Did you feel like this is what I'm, you know, most dominant at? No, or I was like, a defender. Defender, okay. No, I was okay, a defender. Yeah, okay. And I, I played with emotion. Yeah, like I played yeah. With, emotion. Yeah. with heart. Yeah, yeah. yeah, everything that happened all week long, I couldn't wait till Friday. Yeah, Because I can yeah. come out here and play you. I can kill you yeah, out Yeah, kill here. you on the field. And yeah. never get in I trouble. I can legally you know kill you. Like, yeah, and they're, they, yeah, they yeah. are not going to come arrest yeah, me for smashing yeah. you out here. I can take here. your head off out there. Man, try to murder you out here, you know? So that's kind of what, that was what fueled me. Like, you know, 
not that I came from an abusive home, but my pops was a military dude and mm-hmm. pretty strict. Yeah, pretty super strict. strict. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean, from yeah, Kentucky, yeah. as we talked about before. As we talked you know about, yeah. I mean? Yeah. So my, shout out, shout out to yeah. the Kentucky hey, connection, KY man. In the yeah, building, yeah, yeah. you did from from Louisville to uh, Richmond. Richmond man. Let's go. <laughs> even though he, even though he a UK man, I'm a Louisville man. Uh, hey, I almost we'll, got up on him, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> We we go we gonna hold the truth today, we go hold me. the truth for that man. <laughs> but now I know who I'm gonna talk trash to in them games. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, know they play every year. You. you know they play every year. If we don't beat nobody else during the year, we, yeah, we gotta beat y'all. We gotta beat y'all. Yeah, yeah. 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 You yeah. know they Both. coming out here. I don't know if Louisville coming, but Kentucky will be out here for a tournament. Oh, will they? Like December, I want to say. I'll holler at you. Yeah, let, let me know. We gonna have to check that out, man. But yeah, that's just that that my my my. My main focus was defense, and I played mm-hmm. offense because it was fun. And when I was at Pop Warner, like Little League, okay. I always played defense. Okay. And okay. I played for my uncles, Winton Blue and Anthony Blue. They made me the middle linebacker, so okay. I was the leader of the defense. Mm-hmm. And that's just how I played. And I was okay. long and lanky, long neck, big mm-hmm. kid. Um, so when I got into high school, like, defense I felt comfortable with. Like, okay. I wasn't afraid to go hit somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was I mean, more like your yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, And then, okay. you know, we played Pop Warner, we go to California games and things like that. You could play both ways. Yeah. When you played in yeah. Vegas, you yeah. could only play one way. Really? Yeah, and then when you went to, like, out-of-town games, mm-hmm. everybody could play either side mm-hmm. of the ball. Wherever they needed you at. Yeah, so, yeah, couple, yeah. My, you know, my uncle didn't let me play offense, and I would I would do well at it. Mm-hmm. And then my mom started talking about, you ever thought about really wanting to play offense? Like, mm-hmm. no, nah, not really. And then, as a freshman, they put me at running back, and I did well. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So, Mm. But defender was what they looked at me as. And then getting recruited, I wasn't put in a category as like, oh, he's a running back or he's a tight end or yeah. he's this. It was he's an athlete. Really? Yeah. And that's what him. I hear a lot now. Oh, yeah. he's a tremendous athlete. But yeah. I guess you – You can put him anywhere. You can put him anywhere. You can put him, put him anywhere. anywhere. So yeah, I think yeah. I was ranked like 11th in the nation uh, – excuse me, 11th on the West Coast. Mm-hmm. And I was two behind my man Eddie Hartwell out here. Me and Eddie man, Hartwell used to go at it. Yeah, yeah. so uh, – I don't know, man. I, I had a baby when I was fifteen. Wow, man! And I had all these different. That, that changed everything. It just changed you still, the perspective. You still in high school and everything. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was working. I was a sophomore. I was wow, working my junior man. summer of my junior year. Wow. So it was. It made me go get a job. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So while mm-hmm. everybody else is chilling, mm-hmm. I'm. And you ask Jay, I I leave school, mm-hmm. go to practice. Leave practice. I worked at Lucky's as a grocery store. Lucky's. I remember Lucky's. Go push yeah, carts. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Do what you had that's to what do. I had to do. Yeah, get yeah, off at 9 o'clock, 10 yeah. o'clock at night, go home, shower, get my homework done, mm-hmm. come back and do the same thing the next day. So, wow, you man. know, that, that was my focus. And, mm-hmm. and I was just trying. I knew that if if I didn't go somewhere in sports, mm-hmm. I was going to the military. Okay. I already knew that. I remember the military was that. like. Like when I was coming out of high school, I graduated in '89. That was mm-hmm. kind of like the pathway. Yeah, that's where you, know where where you got I mean? to go. Like, yeah, you that's know, where you were to go. I really didn't want to go there. My though, dad did the same thing. Did he? You know yeah, I mean? yeah. My dad yeah. did. My dad was in the Navy, and that's mm-hmm. how I knew. Like my parents didn't have the money. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? For me to go to school and to go to school, yeah. You know and I mean? I, now, where you gonna get that money at, man? You know yeah, what I mean? That's a loan. Yeah, that's a loan. So you know, I, I how decided. did so how did you make the jump? With that being said, like. To UNLV and all that. How did that? Was it scholarship based? Oh, yeah, I got a scholarship. Academic? So I was coming out. Uh, so I was telling you about the camps. I went to a bunch of camps. My dad mm-hmm. started finding sponsors for me. And, and God bless my daddy so because he didn't really. My oldest brother grew up in Kentucky. He stayed there. So when mm-hmm. we moved to Vegas, okay. my oldest brother stayed there. Mm-hmm. And he, was, he played football and baseball, but he was really good in baseball. Okay. And my dad wasn't really a part of it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So my dad didn't understand part of his how like, it worked. His thing. Yeah, 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 it yeah, worked. yeah. So yeah. when it was my turn to go through it, my dad didn't really know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So. He did what he could, and he was a construction supervisor at what's now Cox Cable. It used to be called Prime Cable. Okay. And okay. then uh, my dad just started talking to you know people and sponsors, and mm-hmm. we sponsored my son to go to this camp. And mm. My junior senior year, I went to like four or five camps. People started to see. But that give you that give you that look exposure. when you go to them camps. Yeah, 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 yeah. So then yeah. the scholarship started coming in. Let me. I gotta say this while we on there because we don't get to talk about this man a lot. But mm-hmm. I really got a God rest his soul, rest in peace to this man, Mr. Larry Barnson, man. Larry okay. Barnson did so much for me as a freshman. He seen really? the talent. Mm-hmm. Uh, he was our head varsity coach at the time. Okay, okay. And uh, he just seen so much talent in me, man. By the time my freshman year was over, I was getting letters. Really? Like and this Nebraska. is from at Clark? Yeah, it's at Clark. I was a freshman wow. in high school. I was getting letters from Nebraska, mm-hmm. Colorado. And you don't know this, Jay knows this, but we had guys by the name of Phil Snow, I mean, mm-hmm. uh, Jay Snowden, Phil Glover, Ron Murkison. Like big name like we cats? Had, we had kids. Yeah. We had dudes yeah. that were grown men in high school. You know what I mean? They were Man, grown. what do you call them? Man child. Yeah, they were huge yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah, and these yeah. dudes are getting these same letters. Mm-hmm. And as a freshman, you start getting these letters. Yeah. It builds a little animosity. Yeah, it yeah, starts yeah. building a little 
Hella oh, animosity. Oh, the, oh, the hate like, is coming. Yo, the hate, like, yeah, the hate is coming. How he getting these letters But already? it was based off like it was what you coach. was doing. Oh, like, no, it was the, the coach, coach, man. It was the coach, mm. man. We don't, we don't have coaches out here like that no more. Like that, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That man really worked for us as students. Listen, I ain't never in my life been a straight A student. Mm. Do you know my sophomore year, this man had me working so hard on my grades that I made academic All-American? Yeah, man. I got not, the book and everything. Not football All American, but academic. Academic All American, bro. I was put in a book with like one thousand five hundred other students across the nation. Man, that were academic All Americans, bro. I had it sent home to Kentucky and everything. They put a big news article in the uh, Richmond Register. And wow, Kentucky. bro. Man. It was the first. Listen, that was the first and only time. That's crazy. That I've been That's academic crazy. All American. Mm, you understand? Mm. And it was just because of him, man. He just pushed me he so pushed hard. Like, like yeah, bro, you don't yeah. know how good you could be. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. And then he left, went to Silverado uh, mm. by the time I was a junior, which I really hated that mm -hmm. that happened because I think that he was the motivation for me to have been better than I, I was. I think I was okay. pretty damn good. He the one kind of like gave you that, that push. That. Yeah, yeah, he that was push. That. So there's, there's three coaches in my life mm -hmm. that I try to remember. Mm -hmm. And while I'm coaching, mm -hmm. Be a part of that, okay. And, and that's and that's Larry Barnson. Mm -hmm. That's Chris. and these are from Clark. No, this Larry Barnson was at Clark. Mm -hmm. my, when I first got my coaching job, I went to Las Vegas High School. I coached for a gentleman named Chris Sinkovich. Okay, okay. okay. Um, and then when I was at UNLV, my junior and senior year, Coach John Robinson came in. John Robinson, okay. Yeah, the yeah, SC, yeah, yeah. SC, yeah. Them three coaches. Wow, you gave me John more, Robinson was man, come man. on, man. That dude, listen. So it was. Let's just look at it from high school point. It was there was. Larry Barnson, mm -hmm. then I had a gentleman named Jeff Horton who was a good mm -hmm. coach, he just didn't touch me the right way. Mm -hmm. um, John Robb came mm -hmm. in junior, senior year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Monster guy. Monster. And then Larry Sink, I mean, excuse me, and then Chris Sinkovich came in to help me in my coaching career. Okay. And okay. those three coaches really gave me a bit of them, which made me understand, this is who you are. This, this is who you are, yeah, yeah. So, Showed you who you really was, yeah. I just yeah. took a piece of them. Okay, okay. I'm, I feel like I'm a leader, right? I'm mm -hmm. a leader. So in order for me to be led, yeah, when, yeah, when yeah. I, for me to be led, mm -hmm. you have to be a leader yourself. That's true. That's I can't true. follow yeah. you nowhere because yeah. the leadership yeah. qualities inside of me start looking at you like, nah. This ain't it. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know oh, what it look like. Yeah. You know what it yeah. look like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I see you embody them same principles Back, and stuff yeah. like that. Take yeah. that from them. Yeah, and. and um, so how did how did you get like how did so did it seem like sports was your main thing and, and how did the music intersection how, how did that like, come across? <laughs> uh, my main thing was my daughter, bro. Okay. Uh, at fifteen, becoming a daddy. Yeah. Because uh, now everything is it's focused. Her. Everything it's, was her. Yeah, focus on. I mean, yeah, like I yeah. was no longer a kid. I couldn't. Yeah. I mean, like more. all it, yeah. all that's gone. Yeah. It's gone. And yeah, I, yeah. I, my mama, I love my mama to death because my mm -hmm. mama did such a great job of teaching me how to be a man. Yeah. But at the same time, not being like, well, that's your responsibility. Deal. With yeah. It. Not just. You know yeah. I mean? That's true. Because it could have been like, could have been cold easily. No, she could eat that. You did that. You laid down and made that. Yeah. 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 But my mom was. Always willing to be like, yo, it's Saturday night. I'll watch her. Wow. Go out and hang out. Yeah, go out and hang out. Be a kid. Give you a little break. Yeah, be a kid. because you know, you, know I mean? you really get robbed of all that when you have Absolutely. a kid. Like I didn't have yeah. my first kid. I was nineteen. I wasn't ready then. I didn't right. know what the fuck right. I was doing. Right. Shouldn't have had no business. Right. But like I got a partners that, that had kids at fifteen. Mm -hmm. But it's just like man, every it's, shit gets real then, man. Don't it? Yeah. No, it That's gets realer than real. Yeah. Like yeah. real is is just living life, trying to get through school. Yeah, live to you twenty one as mm -hmm. a black man. As a black man. man. As a black man. Real, yeah. real is yeah. now I'm a black man still, mm. still in high school, yeah. still yeah. trying to play sports, yeah. still trying to graduate. Still trying but to now I got this other life that's man. depending on me, and you I got I got a mouth to feed and all of that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was different, man. Yeah. It was different, but it it taught me at a young age how to grow up. How to grow up and be yeah, responsible, yeah. matureish, matureish, yeah, and, and grind. grind. Like, yeah, yeah, I think that's really where I really just established my grind. Mm -hmm. Was mm -hmm. like, man, I, I'm tired. I'm tired. But yeah. six, we went to school like six twenty in the morning. Yeah. You know what I mean? That six o'clock alarm, mm -hmm. it goes off it early. Goes, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, and you yeah. got twenty minutes to get to school. Uh, yeah, you better get up yeah. at five. Wow. You know what I mean? And that's crazy because that could like set the tone. For life. Yeah, for life. Yeah. yeah like yeah. this is this is the level I gotta be at. No, it man. has. It this has. The level so, I gotta be and that's at. what kept me, you know, no not that I'm perfect in any way. I made man, many nobody. mistakes. Yeah, and all everybody of that. is. But man. It, it made me as a man understand if you wanna get through mm -hmm. the monotony of life. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. yeah this is yeah. how you're gonna have to do this it. This is how you're gonna have to do it. Yeah, yeah. 
and, and it's a lot of that, man. And, and so, like, what was your first introduction like to, to like the music game? Was it just my daddy? Your daddy? Yeah, yeah my yeah. pops was part of a group called The Techniques, mm-hmm. and uh, in Kentucky. Okay, I mean, in Kentucky, traveled okay. around, toured. Mm-hmm. Man, like I just grew up looking at photo albums. That's when photo albums was big. I remember you know that. And hey, you had a fat, a fat big one, the big yeah, one, yeah, like, the big one, yeah. And with, everything with was the black nice and white. Yeah, you already <laughs> know, you already know. So, man, I, I just grew up watching. You know what I mean? And yeah. Looking at my dad and watching mm-hmm. him perform, and him and my mm-hmm. uncle. Um, now this was like before sports came into play. So you really music was like uh, a mixture of both. Kind mixture of both. Of both. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I was playing Pop Warner football at the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'd always been playing sports, but. Mm-hmm. Sports was my thing. My dad played football, mm. got through high school, and that was it. My mm-hmm. dad was like an engineer. Okay. I mean, I, okay. like that was his thing. Like, okay. okay. He was in on technology mm-hmm. way before the technology Way buzz before hit. stuff. Yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, like, yeah. I wish that my dad would have had some of that grind in him having mm-hmm. a child early where mm-hmm. he would have really stepped into technology. Technology. Is what I yeah, he could have been. You know what I mean? Because, bro, he yeah. had it. You know yeah, yeah. I, mean? I could watch. And, He's like he was it's like funny. a real could, engineer. Yeah, like, he yeah. was. The, he was like, bro. He he constructed at, at what used to be called Prime Cables, Cox. Mm-hmm. Now, mm-hmm. some of these places that y'all living at, my daddy yeah. is the one that drew up how the cable was gonna be run yeah, to those places. Lee. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My daddy yeah. was the one that said, "Yo, okay, they're gonna the build layout. Yeah, they're gonna design. build apartments over here. So this is where we gotta bring. We gotta drop the wire from this pole, run it underground. Do it like my daddy did that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? And as a kid, I used to just be like, "That's just my daddy's job." Yeah, you didn't like, think, whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? But now I'm a grown man looking at how far the city come mm-hmm. how big it's gotten mm-hmm. and I think about it like yo some of this couldn't even been done without my yeah pops. it couldn't have been done yet. You know what I mean yeah but he loved the music man did he, you know I mean? he yeah. taught himself how to play piano mm-hmm. uh he taught himself how to sing mm-hmm. so just being around him musically mm-hmm. I was always inclined mm-hmm. and then uh you know there was a point in time they used to make like they used to make the uh not dvd they used to make the uh not the CD. The CDs. Yeah, okay. Right? Okay. You could buy a single, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And a single, single CD. The single yeah, yeah. would have that song on it, mm-hmm. the remix, the instrumental. The instrumental. The I, love, I used to love that, dude. So, bro, we would buy this the CDs mm-hmm. and just rap on the instrumentals. And just rap on the instrumentals. Okay. Yeah. And at that time, That's I was just cussing. Yeah, yeah. I'm just cussing. You're just cussing. I'm just being honest yeah, with you. Yeah. I'm just cussing. Who were who some of your influences coming up musically? Like Quincy like, Jones? Quincy, man, Q. Quincy Ooh. Jones. I'm gonna just be honest with you. Like growing up with my pops, man, man my pops had all this old Q school Q was music, such a cold. Q but worked. Quincy Jones. Listen, the uh, Secret Garden. Yeah, yeah. Bro, listen, yeah, I'm yeah. 13, 12 yeah, years old. Yeah. Banging that. Banging it, man. Tevin Campbell. Wow. Listen, you don't even understand. Tevin Alvin Like, bro, yeah, you don't yeah, understand. I was there. banging that. Like, it was yeah. like it was the chronic. You know what I mean? It was Dre's. It was the chronic before the chronic. Yeah, was it? This the tape? Was this the cassette? Yeah, this the cassette. This a cassette. Yeah, I had a cassette yeah, first. Cassette. Yeah, I had a cassette yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. first, my first CD was Tupacalypse Now. Okay, okay. You feel me? Okay. That was my first CD. Yeah, that was okay, my first okay, CD. Okay, okay, yeah. But I was had, I had a whole like, I had the wooden thing. You pull the tapes out. Yeah, of. Come yeah. On, man, I'm I'm talking, we I still back got, right hey, I still got a tape collection <laughs> right now, bro. I won't get rid of it. Yeah, I just it's something nostalgic about it, man. Quincy was the. That was just some of the influence, man. Yeah, just to watch him, man. Just to watch everything. He was a he genius, done. man. And yeah. my pops, my pops was my pops was very smart. Mm-hmm. My dad was very militaristic and very disciplined. And okay. That, yes, sir. No, sir. Like all yeah. that meant something, right? Yeah, that means that, that southern yeah. raisin yeah. meant yeah, something. That's what I'm saying. But my yeah, daddy southern, was yeah. very inclined to understanding, like who he was and that he wasn't perfect. Mm-hmm. But if I can get my sons to think about, let me back up a little bit for you. Coming from where we come from, mm-hmm. you know this. Yeah, it's yeah. a very racist state. Oh man, super. You super what I'm saying? Oh man. And at that time, when my daddy and them left, mm-hmm. they was hanging us still. Oh yeah, we talking about sixties. You understand? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You understand? It's, so, it's like it's like I would tell people all the time. They say, "Oh man, you from Kentucky?" I said, "No, not the hillbilly part. I'm right. from like the city." I'm from the but, city. Yeah, but it's yeah, super. But listen, racist. it ain't yeah. nothing. Oh, it ain't man. nothing. It's still it's, going yeah, down in the super, city too. Yeah, it's still you going down. Yeah, yeah. And that's something you can go in some of the mountains out there, and you'll be like, "Whoa, what is this?" Commonwealth states yeah, and all that. Yeah, yeah it's, it's yeah. crazy, yeah. So man. just my dad having the idea that he didn't want his sons to grow up in that. In that, in that, you know in that same year. Yeah. So it's in hard. Like the man. 80s, it's my hard. dad came to Vegas. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And coming in Vegas, we followed behind him, mm-hmm. you know, six months, a year later. Mm-hmm. And for my dad, that was his biggest triumph. 
Oh, really? You understand? Mm-hmm. I got my kids. I got out of that. that. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, that's it's shit, like yeah. the hood. Yeah, it's like the hood. Yeah. You know, yeah, once you can get your kids out the hood, mm-hmm. you feel great mm-hmm. as a you parent because they don't up. go through what you went through. Yeah, you, you understand? Set them up, now yeah. we kind of spoil them a little bit. Mm-hmm. I know my daughter is much more spoiled than I was growing yeah, up. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? We always try to make but it that's, better. But for that's them. how it's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be a progression. My dad did a great job of just making us more aware of, you know. There's there's a lot of things in life. Mm-hmm. Be prepared for. Be it prepared for. Yeah. You know yeah. I mean? yeah so be prepared. That yeah. that part he would just drop little jewels and mm-hmm. if you picked them up and picked them up. You picked them up. You yeah. You know and mean? you pick and pick them up as you go yeah. along. As, as you, you gonna learn. miss some of them. Yeah. You gonna miss some you know of them. Yeah. Yeah. So that was just part of it. And then watching my dad run his karaoke business and mm-hmm. DJing and performing. And then he karaoke, me, man, that was yeah. probably like in the early stages this of is, it, man. This is probably, uh, this is 90s. Wow, he was this probably, yeah, 90s. it was like when it first jumped yeah. off and shit on yeah. We used to laugh and be like, I only see Chinese people doing this. Yeah, that, you know and, and it's mean? huge in their And culture. my dad used to be like, no, yeah, yeah. it's going down everywhere. You <laughs> Damn. Know what I mean? So yeah. uh, Look at it now, Yeah, it's, Look at it's it huge now, now, bro. You know what I mean? So yeah. that was just part of it. And then, like I said, just the inspiration of, I'm playing football. Like, I'm, I'm not musically inclined at all at this mm-hmm. time. We mm-hmm. rapping and cussing. Like, we not. Yeah, we think we just rapping over yeah, shit. We, yeah, we, yeah, just, we, yeah, just, we think yeah. we dope because we cussing a lot. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then uh, my dad finally sat down with me like, if you really going to do this music, mm-hmm. put some time into it. Really? That's, what, yeah. that's how he came at you? Yeah, it. yeah. So he had a whole karaoke recording. Like, man, I ain't talking about the little box. Yeah, the real I'm shit. I'm talking about my daddy yeah. had like equalizers and amps. I'm talking about oh, my, my pops had a big stereo system thing mm-hmm. that because he was an engineer, okay. he understood how to wire and make things had work. everything. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. So all of a sudden before you knew it, we had a MIDI player and a CD. But like it was just pops, yeah, everything pops you need. Just dope. Pops yeah, was dope. So yeah. I would go downstairs and record and put your little yeah, shit man. together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my first mixtape that I ever made was made on a karaoke machine. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 You know I mean? And so you put, how, did you put it out? You be like, man, Hell okay, no, so much. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, I didn't give it to nobody. nobody yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think I made this little CD and let my dad hear it a little bit. You know, yeah. the little homies that I rap with, my cousin Chris, my cousin Daryl, like, yeah. you know, they got it. You know yeah. what I mean? But it wasn't nothing but like, yo, the, check me out. I'm a yeah, rapper. Check, yeah, like, okay, nah, yeah. Yeah, no. But them early, them early years, man, be be so it'd be so much fun, man. Just like putting your little shit together. It was just the development of it. Yeah, the yeah. development, yeah. yeah. It was just the yeah, development. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and that part. I got a friend of mine, Jay knows him too, his name is Six. Mm-hmm. And we was in high school, middle school, bro. Six was really doing music. He was really like doing he it was like, real, like yeah. he was going to LA every weekend. And, and really he was in high school? Music. Yeah, really Man, doing it. Like yeah. we used to laugh at him. Mm. I'm, I'm be honest, and I can tell him this to Last his face I'm like now. What, like, are like, you doing? You bro, doing you music? Ain't doing nothing? Oh, okay. You know what I'm okay, saying? Okay. And he would go to LA on the weekend, mm-hmm. come back from the weekend. Monday, he have a tape. Really? Of of what he recorded in L.A. Mm. that weekend. It had to be expensive for a cat to be able to do that too, man. Listen, like I'm telling, I don't, I don't know how Six got into what he got because Six could hoop too. Really? You know what I mean, but mm. Six found early in life that this was his calling. Mm. And I don't know if you know who Six John is, but if you heard the song "This the Pimp Chronicles." Mm-hmm. He, he used to cat from out here. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he wrote that. Did he? The, the third year, the third season of Empire. Yeah. The whole soundtrack. He wrote all of that. Get out of here. Neo man. to a Neo's project. Yeah. He co-wrote on all of that. Oh, you see, that's like, where the money's you know at. They're like, writing. He's, yeah. he's a beast. Like, so he fell he back into like the writing. He part just of- he left when we were uh, I want to say sophomores. He went back to California mm-hmm. to go to school, and they was kind of playing with him out here because he could hoop. Yeah, you know what I mean, but coach yeah. kind of had the guys that he wanted on his team. Yeah, he didn't yeah. want to let six play. Six was like, bro, I know I can play. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So he went back to LA, and then you know, I guess the rest is just in the writing because he's been signed, bro. He works with Neo, they best friend. Like, Neo, yeah, because you know I mean? Neo just, from out of yeah, yeah. So he's my musical mentor. When I go to needing information or yeah. talk to me about what I should do next mm-hmm. with this, that's who I go to. Wow, I mean? man. So he just he's guided me. My father's giving me information. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think just, uh, it's kind of like you was talking about earlier when we were off the air, like mm-hmm. we supposed to be giving each other knowledge. Yeah, you po- you're supposed to, man. You know yeah, I mean? If I could help and somebody. It, and it shouldn't yeah. always be, well, you know, I get paid for this. Yeah, yeah, You know what I mean? Yeah, if you my yeah. guy, mm-hmm. Frost, if you my guy, yeah. The payment is in the relationship. It's in, it's in the. That's what I you say. Know what I'm saying? That that's the enrichment, the relationship. Yeah. I don't try to be like, yeah. oh man, charge. I I try to give up game so I can get it back in yeah. return. You, you supposed know to what teach I mean? me something yeah, too. Yeah, it's always. I'm always, not gonna hit you up with. Remember, I did this for you. Yeah, you should pay me. Yeah, you, oh, listen. Yeah. Remember, I had told you about this. Mm-hmm. Listen, I need some help with yeah, this. You know anything yeah. about that? That's, that's how it works. You know what I mean, man. that's how it's supposed to that's work. That's how it's supposed. That ain't how it works. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah, but in my book, I say that's how it goes. That's how I like. You know what I mean? Absolutely. 
Yeah. That's nice, man. And speaking of that, how did what what uh, brought about the the formulation of a uh, Crown Republic? That's your, that's oh, your label, man. right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, the label but, itself is really called Crown Music. Crown Music. Crown okay. Republic. So is when, the when did that start? Like, uh, Year wise, we just say. <laughs> So this is story too, all right? Okay. So okay. listen, I'm a <laughs> I'm working at Zappos, right? Okay. I haven't rapped. I started my nonprofit in 2005. Like Zappos when they first came yeah, out when they first yeah. came out here, right? Okay. So in 2005, I got 2004. I got home. I was depressed and just kind of in my feelings for a year, just mm -hmm. trying to figure out what I'm gonna do now with my life. You okay. Know I, mean? I was okay. a football player. Mm -hmm. Life is set up for you as a football player. Yeah. There's things you need to do, places you need to be. Mm -hmm. You have a schedule and a regiment mm -hmm. all the time. All right? the time. That yeah. first yeah. year home, 2004, I'm like, man, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. Shit, What's going on? Transition. Just man. not knowing. Yeah. This. I'm not knowing. I'm 23 years old. Like, mm -hmm. what do I do now? You mm -hmm. know. So. uh I started this nonprofit. The nonprofit okay. is taking off. That's my focus. Okay. Starting black and blue football. That's what we're gonna do. And that was help, your nonprofit. Yeah, helping is kids that, get to college. Okay. The same okay. thing that I kind of went through mm -hmm. and the parts where I felt like I lacked. Mm -hmm. I'm lacking this mm -hmm. or didn't have this or someone yeah. to help me there. I created something to help those mm -hmm. kids in those same areas. I want to be what I needed when I needed when it I at needed the time. It. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's what okay. I created. Okay. That's it, man. That's good. So man. then probably 2008. 2009, mm -hmm. 10, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I, I, I was at the private school that I just left the first mm -hmm. time as a dean. Mm -hmm. I left there after three years. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like, okay, what do I want to do? Mm -hmm. My sister, uh, my god sister's working at Zappos. Mm -hmm. At this time, they were on Warm Springs. This is before they moved to yeah, before the they Green moved Valley. Downtown. No, yep. before even downtown. They, oh, but they were on we? Green Valley Parkway at first. Okay. okay. So I'm like, okay, that's what's up. I'll go apply. She was like, if I work here, so I'll get you in faster. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, that's what's up. So Straight juice. I get right. Yeah. You already know. Mm -hmm. So I get the job working there, answering phones, being, and I'm a clown. Like I like to have yeah, fun. Like, yeah. Everything don't have to and be And they stuff serious. is real customer. Everything is customer, everything is customer oriented. Yeah. Like customer service is yeah, a huge I heard, deal I heard they there. don't even mind if you're on the phone with hours for Girl, I've been on the phone having people sing. <laughs> You think I'm playing? Wow, like, listen, man. you get free. I should probably say this, but you get free delivery. Period. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Period. They deliver overnight to you. Period. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, yeah. Regardless. So customers don't really know that all the time. Yeah. So the yeah. customer be like, "Hey, okay, Randy. So can I? How do I get the overnight? Check this out. It's Christmas. Mm -hmm. Sing Jingle Bells for me right now, man. And I'll give you free delivery overnight. <laughs> now they like, that are is... you serious? No, I'm dead serious. Yeah, yeah. So when they start singing, I will push. Speakerphone, yeah, and everybody on my team would hear this person oh, man, singing jingle crazy, bell. And everybody's man. laughing like you are stupid. That's like, crazy, I, what man. better customer service is that? Yeah, like that yeah. person enjoying it, they laughing and they think just because you made them sing, they get it. They yeah. getting free oh, overnight wow, service. Man. You feel me? So I used to do all. Like, I just like to be a clown. It was yeah. fun. And Zappos was a great, probably one of the greatest jobs I've ever mm -hmm. had. Just far as being an employee mm -hmm. and your company. Taking care, and taking of care you. of you, yeah, you know what I'm yeah. Saying? And I, I like when I work for like companies, like you know, not I not work for them, but any company, like I try to learn what I can from the culture, absolutely, from the corporate. No, culture. They, they are the culture. Yeah, they, yeah. Listen, yeah. before the. Before the Amazon, before mm -hmm. the Google, yeah, yeah. before all that, Zappos was yeah. that, yo, we don't real. have to dress up to come yeah, to work. Yeah, just be Listen, you. Yeah. Decorate your, your desk any way you want to. They, they, they be believe in the individual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that hey, part was like, That's why Amazon bought Zappos. Absolutely, because yeah. we, we was on their heads. They was on their head, yeah. Listen, they knew. We was one, he two. knew that was a rival. We was one, two for yeah, four yeah, years. Yeah, understand yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, One, two for four years? you worked there early, man. I was there. They used to have big parties, too. They used huge parties. Yeah, I heard about They got a million dollar budget just for Get parties here, you're not bro. hearing me i heard one day, one time was it at cashman field yeah, or something come on, yeah. man. We, look, we taking over hotels yeah we've gone in hotels and had our like second quarter meetings third quarter meetings man. and then when the meeting's over with mm -hmm. they'd be like go out the bar's open Wow. So man. you can go to any bar in the hotel, bro, mm. drink for free, go in. Like, come wow. on, we take it over nightclub. Take it Telling over you, home. Zappos was one of the best companies I ever worked for. Like, wow, yo, this is the man. business. But long story short, in the midst okay. of working at Zappos, I met this dude named Phil So. Okay. And he is the director of music for, for Zappos. So he makes all the little jingles and all mm, that okay. for Zappos, right? So this is at the time when uh, Rock Nation was kind of separating mm -hmm. and, and the rock was... Jay Z, Rihanna, and uh, oh, right when that when that was uh, going on. What's the other boy name? Come on, man! Hard rapper, name. right? Uh, they make the beats. Kanye, sorry. Kanye. Okay, Kanye. Okay, me and okay. Kanye ain't on a good page okay. right now. He be tripping, but it was them three. <laughs> okay, remember they did the New York, uh, the New York one where they had all the Illuminati. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Okay. So it feels like. 
And at this time, we on different teams. He's on the he's on over there with the music team. Mm-hmm. I'm over here working for a concierge service at the time. Okay. And uh, he's like, "Hey, Black, you seen that new video?" I'm like, "Yeah." Mm-hmm. So we just started. That's kind of the way we sparked our friendship, mm-hmm. like, talking. And I'm the loud one. I'm from Kentucky, man. You already yeah, know. You, I'm you, the loud one. Yeah, then they, even, they know you yeah, in the room. Even when they want me to be yeah. quiet, I'm loud. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah they know you in the room. Yeah. So uh, he's talking to me about it, and we cracking jokes, and I'm talking over like four different desks. Mm-hmm. Like, come over here, man. You'll get us in trouble. Like, yes. <laughs> so we start talking about things, and at that time, I had a company called Real Music Entertainment and okay. Exquisite Production. So Exquisite Productions was making videos and highlight okay. films, sports, okay. things of that sort. And Real Music was me trying to get back into music, but I wasn't really doing music. I was just putting music on highlight films okay. or okay. Sound, uh, find Oh, kind of like putting video, the videos, yeah, yeah, okay. whatever. You, okay. you, you, okay. Your son played football. Okay, something like so that. So I'll go find a beat from a producer mm-hmm. and put that beat behind his okay. video okay. so that you can push it anywhere without worrying about Infringement. Infringement. Rights, right? Okay. Yeah, so I wasn't yeah. really doing music at that time. Okay. You were still involved. I, in yeah, it. I was. Okay. I was in t- entertainment. Is That's what I was really doing. Interesting, man. So That's then uh, this, he hits me and was like, "Yo, I think about doing a. Uh, and you can look this up right now on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. Zappos Family Album." Mm. He was like, "Yo, let's do a mixtape for all the Zappos." Really? And I was like, "And, and the dude knew, about? but he knew about the mixtape culture yeah, and all that." Yeah, yeah, real, Asian wow. dude, Asian real. dude. Phil's, okay, Phil's okay, beast. okay. Um, so he was like, "Yo, let's do a, uh, let's do a mixtape." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "For real?" And he was like, "Look, we'll take everybody in Zappos that mm-hmm. is musically inclined mm-hmm. and put them on a mixtape." Mm. And I was like, "Are you kidding me?" He was like, "No, for real." And then we'll push it out through Zappos. Mm. So we hell of a distribution. Listen, we yeah. made a, a mixtape through Zappo. That's how I got back into music. Like I was retired yeah. from music at that time. That and is I did crazy. two songs on the mixtape. Oh, you was I, retired at that time yeah, from music? You kind of music. fell back. Yeah, I wasn't doing no music. I was just doing my nonprofit and being cool. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't. Mm. I hadn't done any music in years. Like I was cool mm. on music. And then wow. uh, I did two songs with him. Mm-hmm. One with Marion Wright. One with Phil. Marion, what happened to Marion Wright? I don't know man. what happened to Marion. I think he started teaching and coaching too. Listen, really? sometimes. Teaching and coaching, bro, yeah. can that, take you off of that, music. That's, that's why I said, man, you, you do a lot, bro. Yeah, I, I don't know how. Of, it, it take you off because yeah, everything. Yeah, because everything else, because everything, especially yeah. teaching and coaching, like yeah. those are priority figures. Like yeah. those take a lot of time. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. But yeah, we did, uh, I did a song with him. Um, yeah, I know that cat, man. And he, we he's, did, he's uh, nice. They called This Is My Moment. Mm-hmm. And then we did another song I did with another young lady called Keep It Moving. Mm. And then Phil looked at me uh, one day and was like, Black, I'm not going to let you stay retired. Like, you got to keep doing music. So, the long Brought story short of it all, I was like, Well, tell me what you want to do. And he was mm-hmm. like, Man, let's start our own company. Mm. And we we're talking about the four pillars of hip hop. Okay. All right. And we had four people. Mm-hmm. And everybody worked at Zappos. Mm-hmm. And when we started making music and doing photo shoots and things of that sort, mm-hmm. Three of them people were already under contract mm. with Zappos. Oh, really? I mean, when it was just like for music or something? No, no, just under contract. Tony Shea had this man like that. So we had the assistant CFO working mm-hmm, for us. Mm-hmm. Okay, we had the head Dude, of the was photography connected, department. Man. I yeah. went in there and start working. You feel me? Man. Then I had the head of the music department and myself. So that's us four okay. about to start this new record company. Okay, and you, you got four, the four, yeah, the four yeah, pillars yeah, okay, of hip hop. So okay, each one of okay. us represented a part of the pillar of hip hop. Okay, okay. And then we got into it and started having a good time. And Tony Shea let us throw a couple parties here and there. And then all of a sudden, when it looked like it was really about to, you know, Tony Shea is a, 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 a like he, uh, what's it called a venture capitalist? A venture capitalist, okay. yeah, yeah. So he yeah, donates yeah. money to people, and if that if your company blows up, it's if, his company. It's his company, or, right? or they got a percentage, yeah, of, of yeah, your company. Yeah, percent, yeah, so yeah, yeah. we started doing some things, and you know, we never his company that is part of the, the venture part is called Venture Frogs. Mm-hmm. Okay, and but he's looking to dump money into other. Yeah, that's stuff what they do like every yeah, Saturday. Yeah, okay. They still do it every Saturday. Do they? You line, you show up to this meeting room, and you mm-hmm. sit in front of him and four other people. And you, it's like Shark Tank. Like Shark Tank. Yeah, you pitch your idea. Yeah, hell yeah. Wow, hell yeah. Man. So we never did that. Mm-hmm. I mean, we just kind of ran with the idea. So mm-hmm. all of a sudden, once we kind of got it, like, yo, we all right right mm-hmm. now. This shit look all right, right? Yeah. You got the pictures looking straight. Yeah. Like, we had the finance. Everything looked good. It's just looking And then official. Tony Shea came up to us and was like, you know, Randy, I want to talk to you for a minute. I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah. He was like, uh, everything you're doing belongs to me. Damn. Uh-huh. And I kind of looked at it. Well, like, like everything you, y'all put together that you. Everything we was doing. The how business. does it belong to him? Okay, but, so I'm going to give you the game. Mm-hmm. Phil Soul was under contract with Zappos to be the director of music at Zappos. Okay. So any music he makes is Zappos. Wow. Randy wow. Harris is under contract with Zappos as the assistant chief financial officer. Anything okay. he has to do with money and 
scheduling and all. That's Zappos. That's Zappos. Okay. The photographer guy that we had, he's under contract with Zappos. So any pictures that he shoots and all that, they're Zappos. Anything. Uh, anything. So every everything y'all everything was doing, doing, he was saying was belonging to That's me. The only wow. thing I don't own, Randy, is your words that you're spitting, but you're spitting them over my beats. You're in my Who was pictures. doing the music? Who was doing like? Uh, Phil So. Mm. So we got to a point where Phil and Randy and you know the other guy kind of looked at me and was like, yo, like it's a great idea, bro, but mm. we're working hard for somebody else. For somebody else. I mean, so for somebody Phil kind of pulled me aside and was like, yo, I'm going to give you everything. Did he? Yeah, I'm going to give you everything, all the logos, everything, take it and run. And then Tony kind of hit me. Probably mm-hmm. like a month later, mm-hmm. we were doing parties downtown. He was mm-hmm. like, I see that you're pretty good at this. Mm-hmm. You're pretty good at what you do. So I'm um, going to give you the opportunity to step away. Mm-hmm. And continue, That's how he came and, to yeah, you like keep, that? Keep mm-hmm. doing this. Because mm-hmm. there's a ceiling here, Randy. There's nothing yeah, else. No, what you you're doing, yeah. you can't do here. You can't, yeah, you, you can't. We already okay. had those spots in, mm-hmm. in place. So um, then it's quiet did as you, Doc, was that? Did you respect him for that? Was it just this like man business? Gave me unemployment like, for three years. He Three years? The man gave me unemployment for three years. Get the fuck out of here. Understand? I was in Vegas for a year, unemployed. He paid me. I moved to San Diego for two years, still getting unemployment. Golly, that was a sweet deal. And he could have easily been like, after a year, like, no, we don't, we don't, you know, you got to reapply each year. Yeah, yeah. But he let you step away to do your thing. He kept, when I reapplied, man, I didn't think that lady be like, like don't even worry about You got to check on your account already. You're good. For as long as you need it. You must yeah. have really seen a lot in you, yeah, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's that speaks I, I a lot to you. Respect, to who you are. Yeah. For that, you know wow, I mean? man. Even the fact the that you know a cat like yeah, that, he gave man. me the opportunity. You feel me? Wow. So that's man. how Crown Republic started. I, we switched Real uh, Real Music Entertainment, mm. made it Crown Republic, mm. and in the midst of making it, I had to lose my foundation because they were already under contract with Zappos. So you basically had to start over with you. Not really start over. I had been given a good foundation by Phil Mm -hmm. and the opportunity to do so, but Mm -hmm. I went from having a team and we had a goal Mm -hmm. to you by yourself. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So it was a trade-off. It was a trade-off. Yeah, Yeah, okay, okay. And then I just just hit the ground running. And when Mm -hmm. I got into San Diego, I met up with a a guy by the name of Big Rex and Island mm-hmm. Swag Entertainment, and mm-hmm. uh, they let what me brought come. you to San Diego? What was the connection? A chick, like, mm. usually the, yeah, yeah, usually the, yeah, yeah, usually yeah. the. So, yeah. but when you went out there, you were still gonna try to pursue the music. You was gonna take your stuff out there, or what? I was going there to live. Mm. You know I mean, I wasn't even supposed to be back in Vegas. Damn. Like I got when I moved, packed up my everything, and my daughter had just graduated. There was no point in me being in Vegas. Yeah, anymore. yeah. You know what I mean, so. I got to the top of the hill on the 15 and waved to Vegas like I'm out. Damn, <laughs> like I'm man. never coming back. You feel me? That's crazy. But uh, man. yeah, a chick, you know what I mean? I was trying to make something work. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Something that was long distance, trying to make it work. And it, yeah. worked. it was cool for a minute. And mm-hmm. then, you know, I feel like that um, I, I, I made a big sacrifice to leave everything I know. Yeah, and, that's, that's and, tough, and I, man. Yeah, yeah, that's and tough. And then, uh, you know, things just didn't work out the right way. Mm-hmm. But while I was out there, I was networking. Like, I can't sit on my hands. I don't know how to sit still. Yeah, I, I, it drives me crazy, yeah. man. So I met yeah, a couple yeah. people, met some people, put me in a good place. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said, Big Rex let me record at their studio. Mm-hmm. Um, the difference between what I was doing with him and everybody else's other artists were coming in and he was fronting everything for them to do what they mm. do. I came in like I got my own budget. I got my own, yeah, yeah. Do Whole different me. respect when you come, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. I mean? All I need from you is introduce me to a video guy. Okay, you know okay, All I need okay. from you is introduce me to somebody that makes beats. Okay, you know I mean? okay. Show me some people in, in San Diego that I don't know that'll put me in a place where I can okay. be okay. And you was going there like, I don't with need you do nothing. Nothing, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Whole, whole different I'm, mindset. I'm my own man, I got this, Yeah, whole different mindset. So they put me in a studio, let me record, Record, gave me a nice discount in recording, and then that's. And was I, you just recording as a as a solo artist? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kept like you kept your real name too, huh? Yeah, like, I, yeah. I, that's my football name. Oh, okay. You know I mean? okay so okay. Ram Black was the name that everybody gave me, and, and I'm glad you brought that up because a lot yeah. of people be like, "Yo, the CC, like, are you yeah, are yeah. you a crip? Are yeah. you a gangster? <laughs> you know what I mean? And, like we say, we come. It's come yeah, from the it, gang yeah, culture. Yeah, it comes yeah, from yeah. a gang culture, but. Mm. Uh, R A N B L A C K was mm-hmm. what people called me, mm-hmm. or black, mm-hmm. all through high school, all through football. That's who okay. I always did. So you just say like, even I'm doing music, I'm, I'm Ram Black. Yeah, yeah, that's who I am. I, I like when cats like use their original name. That's who for, I like, am, though. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Like, like, yeah. I couldn't. I, I, I sat around and thought about it though. Frost, yeah. I thought like, okay, what's gonna be my what's gonna be my artist you know, you name? Think of artist, yeah, what's my artist name? name? Like, yeah, yeah. Gotta come up with an artist yeah, name. Yeah, and then yeah, I sat there for a minute, like, man, I don't. I am who I am. I am who I am. This is, this yeah, is me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I felt yeah. like can't yeah. nobody else have no variation of my shit. I'm that's black. who I am. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, when it came to doing the music, and I felt like, and me and Jay have talked about this, like I wanted to do music that was me. 
Okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when okay. I come out in the music, and if you if you really research my music and look at my first projects, the mm-hmm. the um, Alter Egos mixtape series, there's four okay. of them. Okay. And then you start to see the transition to where mm-hmm. there's three Alter Egos. There's Ram Black. There's Hugh Huss. The mm. Scholar Hog. Okay. In the music, you can hear those people. Scholar Hog is the older one. Ram okay. Black is, is the artist. You know okay. Saying? Hugh Huss is the hustler. Okay. You know I mean? That's pretty creative, yeah, though, man. That, yeah, that's me, that's, though. That's cool. No, that ain't great. That's, that's really me. That's all you. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, really yeah, who yeah, I am. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. As, I've trans- all, as I've transitioned in life, that's okay. who I've been. Yeah. And I think me? music, as you go along, it's about snapshots in life. Absolutely. This is where I'm at Absolutely. during this time. And if you go back and look at the Alter Egos mixtape series, you can see, like, Damn, bro, you talking about, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I was at. That's, that's where I was at at, at okay. that time. Okay. You feel me? Okay. And as the transition comes up to where we are now with the mm-hmm. Brotherhood Project, yeah. you start to see the growth and me starting growth, to sing yeah. more the mature, and yeah, the difference in yeah. the music. You that's know what that's I mean? getting into that, so I didn't man. So like, I didn't feel like for us I could come up with some fake name and be like, that's who I am. Yeah, like, no, nah, yeah, I'm Ram yeah, Black. I'm Ram Black. And what I'll give you is I'll give you these alter ego. Like my middle name mm-hmm. is Hugh. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like so, oh, Hugh Hefner. It's all of that. So there's Hugh, Hugh Hustler. Hustler. You that's know what I'm cold. saying? That's cold. Scholar that's Hog. Cold. I joined when I was with my cousin T Mike. Mm-hmm. We we had a record company called War Hog. Okay. So everybody okay. was a hog. Okay. The hog. I went to school. Mm-hmm. These okay. is all OGs and Scholar gangsters. Hog. Yeah. Wow. You understand Man, what I'm saying? That's, that's so crazy. all these is OGs and gangsters from LA. Like, yeah. like intimidate. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. I used to come into the studio and be intimidated. Like, yeah. like oh, nigga, I'm the scholar. Bro. Nigga, I'm, I'm and, the knowledge. And, that, and that's how they would look at me. Like, yeah, yeah. bro, they used to hand me books yeah. and say rap it. Damn. And I would just read it and rap the words to the beat. They'd be like, bro, wow. he's dope. Like, <laughs> this fool's dope. But, he went to school. Like, bro, they just they respected me because. Out of the whole clique, I'm mm. the one that went to school. I went to school. Something you know different. I mean? yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but I think it, it says a lot to being authentic to who you are. Yeah, absolutely. Like, this is me. I, I can't be no more yeah, than just, just me. who I this am. Is me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow, man. That's so yeah, I got up. the name Scholar Hog, and then you know, Black and Mild came. I used to smoke Black and Mild a lot. Okay. You see, I vape okay. now. Yeah, yeah. But I used yeah, to okay. Black and Mild to okay. death. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So when I started singing, mm-hmm. my Brody Eleven was like, "Oh, that's the smooth side of Black. Yeah, yeah. That's the Miles." That's the black and mild black side, and wild, you feel me? Wild, so then all of a sudden wild. now, the singing part of the me sing, is okay. black and mild. Okay, that, that's okay. Yeah. And speaking of that, man, I was, I was, was you, I mean, I don't know if you were surprised, but like the success of um, Broken Mess. Oh. She said she couldn't leave the past. Said everything she loved. I couldn't believe I'm like, when I, <laughs> hey, when I seen it, I'm like, okay, I didn't expect, because I know, I think I think one time I heard you kind of phrase your music as like hip hop and beat. Hip hop and beat, yeah, yeah and that's I'm what like, I'm making that's now. Cold. Yeah, that's I what I'm making that's now. That's a cold flip yeah. on and it, man. Listen, it's kind of grown. It is, it you know is. I mean? it's, it's we still, still hip hop kids. Yeah, like, it's still we, hip-hop. we grew up in the age when hip hop was developed, so I'm always yeah, a hip hop yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. But I also grew up when R and B and Temptations oh, and Gladys Knight. I think we grew up in the best era. Of music, music. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You feel me? Man. So, uh, I got a cousin. I got, and I always got to shout him out for this because it wasn't my original idea. It was, mm-hmm. I, I had a cousin. He's a singer in Kentucky. Okay. Uh, his name is Bo Ferris. Okay. And grew up in a church, singing mm-hmm. in church, and all of that. And when mm-hmm. I signed him, he was like, "Bro, I want to do this thing called hip hop and B. I want my album to be mm-hmm. called Hip Hop and B." Mm-hmm. So we started working on a couple songs, and I'm and I'm producing the album. I'm like, yeah. This shit is dope. It's dope, yeah. You can you see where- rapping? You yeah. want rapping? You want rapping? On R and B type songs, yeah. He was like, "Bro, why don't you take an R and B beat and rap on it?" Yeah, like the blend tapes back in the yeah. day. Yeah, yeah. So then after working with him, you know, what I mean, he had to fall to the wayside because he had got kids and had to take mm-hmm. care of some of the personal stuff. Life started happening. On. Yeah. And I think that I looked at it and was like, I don't want to steal it. But it was like a genre. But it's a genre. Yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? I'm not yeah. stealing your idea. Yeah, I'm just rocking the genre. I'm taking the genre yeah, now. Yeah, Nobody yeah, is yeah. even messing nope. in this genre. Everybody's worried about trap and this. Yeah, yeah. Bro, we got a new genre of music and they haven't even, even caught on yet. ain't even caught on. You feel me? When I so let's go that, ahead and jump on that. I'm yeah. like, I said, dude, that absolutely. was smart for him yeah, to like, absolutely. even the summertime joint. Yeah, absolutely. I'm like, man, that shit bangs, yeah, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm like, I see where his lane is and it's very accessible. Like. 
It ain't too hard, yeah. but you still get the hit. And it ain't too soft. Yeah, you feel me? It's, it's the perfect and I got, blend. I, I appreciate you because you yeah. grown. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. My music ain't for kids. It ain't for kids. Yeah, they you feel me? And kids, I, yeah, I got yeah. a lot of kids that listen to me, bro. Yeah, yeah. And that part I get, I get enthused about where I'm like, yo, they catching, they catching, the kids they are catching, catching it. They catching. But my yeah. music is for us. It's for us. Yeah, my, yeah. my music is but for that era, 30 like, to that 50 yeah, range. Yeah, that demographic. So yeah, you can go yeah. on because we still hip hop heads. We still hip hop. We yeah. just got older now. We you got know older. Yeah. And what yeah. and what I feel like is, is messed up in the music game is the industry focus mm -hmm. on the youngsters, the youth. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, that's yeah, the only yeah, part of the yeah. game they it's, focus on. It's like on. they just want to. When you forgot about us. Yeah, yeah, but the cats who like, like the older as you get older, you say like that 35 to 50, whatever, like they almost check you out after you get. It don't like, matter you know no more. Man? It don't matter. It's Your numbers don't matter but, no but more. But if you look like in rock and roll, them guys get Still praised. rocking. Yeah, they get Still rocking. Van, hey, you know all still of them. Rocking. They still be there. It's crazy how the hip hop so, does it, man. I, I looked at it as a record company mm -hmm. when I established and signed with Empire Records. Okay. Um, that that was gonna be my lane. Okay. Now Empire Records, that's that's is that part of your deal too? Empire, I got signed by Empire two years ago. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So not so Empire Republic, Republic, on TV. Yeah, oh, yeah. I know Crown yeah. Republic yeah. slash Empire. No, Republic. it's Crown Music. Crown music. slash Empire. Okay. I've seen the Empire. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. So and yeah. Now, you know, you know, Tiger, uh, mm -hmm. I want to say uh, T.I., yeah, okay. all of them are signed to Empire really? now. Really? Yeah. Now, how did that deal come about? How did, how did that how Bro, did San Diego, I'm telling you, San Diego, bro. San really? Diego. And it's crazy. Like, I hate to say this on your show, but, mm -hmm. man, I, I got a lot more love in San Diego than in my hometown of Las Vegas. Bro. Wow. You know what I mean? Wow. In Las Vegas, when I, I, I first heard started that doing before. this music, yeah, yeah. it was like, oh, the football dude trying to rap now. Oh, that's how they took it, you man? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was kind of like... Well, damn, I'm sure you was doing something else before you I'm started sure you doing music. I'm sure you was doing something else, man. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's cool. You don't understand. My background, I've been invested in music. Yeah, you know yeah, saying? yeah. So it was cool. But when I went to San Diego, they don't know me. They don't even know you. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. The first, first take of them getting to know me, I'm sitting around the studio. Like, my studio session's over. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I just sit around the studio and watch people come in, greet, how you doing? Mm -hmm. And they're like, it's you work here? Up, yeah. Nah, I'm actually writing music right now. I'm yeah, done with my session. Yeah, yeah. I know the big homie Rex. He let me sit around. Just hanging and chill. around, seeing who's I just coming see through. Who coming yeah, in, coming yeah, out, yeah, yeah, yeah. meeting people. So uh, all of a sudden, you know, the first uh, "Where's Your Bite," "Alter Egos," "Where's Your Bite" dropped. Mm -hmm. San Diego loved it. Mm -hmm. The second one dropped. So a lot of those, those "Alter Ego" series that was in, dropped in San, was Diego. San Diego. Wow, yeah. man. So then uh, when the second one dropped, me, myself, and I, mm -hmm. where I could really showcase, mm -hmm. there's three of me, mm -hmm. and I made mixtape. Like a show, as okay, if you went okay. to a show, okay, and okay. it opened up with somebody on stage greeting everybody, okay, and the okay. transition from song to song okay. is another artist coming up. Like it's like you went to That's a concert, cool. yeah. You like you know okay, I mean? yeah, yeah. So once they heard that second one, mm -hmm. and they, I mean each, the first, the first one got like three thousand downloads. I mean like thirty thousand down. Like it was like crazy play. Like whoa, was you surprised crazy. at it? Like that they took and at that time I was working a, a, like solely with. Uh, DJ So Hype. Okay. So then he's oh, out DJ here in Vegas. So from yeah, out here. yeah, okay. Yeah, so he now was what like, was the, what was y'all relationship? We just, uh, just kind of I, I, I seen his uh, his website. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The I one had, that got the magazine. Yeah, yeah okay, all that. Yeah, so okay, I kind of yeah. just kind of was talking about him like you know this is what I'm doing. How I'm trying to get this project about to drop. Mm -hmm. What do I need to do? How do I need to do it? He was like, man, go look at the package. Just tell me what you want. I'll mm -hmm. work with you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I bought we one had a promotional package. Yeah. Okay. And got in got in the magazine mm -hmm. and then he started I mean I've been signed to him since like, really? that was that was almost eight years ago I've been, yeah. I've been part of Soul Hype since that very first mixtape mm -hmm. you know what I mean so mm -hmm. uh Hype just started pushing me. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah Hype started pushing me mm -hmm. that pushed and then I think because people in San Diego seeing me not just as I'm out here trying to give you a disc yeah yeah you know what I mean but mm -hmm. I'm really like you can go to this website and see this ain't even my website saying, yeah you can go to this yeah. website and see they promote me and all they that promote, yeah. so then they start calling me Vegas like Vegas what up Vegas you feel me so all oh. of a sudden in San Diego I'm Vegas mm -hmm. you know what I mean so mm -hmm. doing little shows and hanging out at the shows mm -hmm. they would recognize me as what's up Vegas you know what I mean oh yeah. no okay they started listening to my music and then you know they flooded me like from from I can tell you from Imperial Beach, mm -hmm. all the way up to Oceanside, mm -hmm. all the way up to Long Beach, into LA. Man, like, it ran like bro, that? it ran. It wow, ran. Man. You feel me? Where that I was crazy. like, whoa, like this is crazy. But man. then it hurt a little bit because even in my own city, they're not mm -hmm. running with They're me. not doing it like that. Do you think it's just Californians? I know it's, it's a, just a different layout, just, you know, has so many little cities. And you know what I mean? Like, you think the support is like that or just. I think it's so many talented artists throughout California. Mm -hmm. Like, 
and I hate to say this about my city, I love my city, but in Vegas is a crab girl. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And it's just it's just being real. It's just what it's it just is. being it's real. Yeah, girl. yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not that people don't support you, but they don't want to see you doing better than them. They don't want to see that. Wait, like, wait you know a minute. I mean? No, uh-uh. no you on, don't. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Yeah, if yeah, I show yeah. you too too much support, my fans might start liking you. Yeah, yeah, and that's crazy. You know what I mean? Where in no. California, it's like it's the whole state of California. Like, bro, you understand that in San Diego alone, it's hundreds and thousands of people hundreds, and we're man. not talking about the city i'm talking about the county the of county yeah, that's just the county you know what i'm saying yeah so it was yeah. like that's the part that i really and i go back i don't even know if you know they told you i go back to san diego at least twice a month do you i was I recording studios still, in san diego is it yeah, yeah i don't record in vegas at all oh wow the engineer i've been working with i've been mm-hmm. working with eight years out in san diego. in san diego that's where you do it that's wow. where i do everything that's interesting so man. i get a lot of people that get mad and like bro you don't record out here you want i don't record in vegas yeah i man. go to my home studio when i want to record my music and that's mm-hmm. where i go that's where nothing I go. against nobody else yeah but me and but this dude don't work together for eight years yeah, and y'all he got knows a what i want yeah he knows yeah, how i want yeah. it to sound yeah. we can sit here and as i have an artist recording mm-hmm. my engineer is chopping mixing mm-hmm. and all that he knows all while it's happening in real time all yeah. while it's yeah, happening yeah, where yeah. i gotta pay you mm-hmm. a different engineer in vegas money to mix and money, money to chop. yeah what? yeah i'm getting yeah. all that in one all session. in one yeah that, that's, hey yeah. i'm gonna stay with somebody like that like, too that's man my guy, you know yeah. I mean? and he's an yeah. artist is he he's a so hot he artist knows how it so goes. he know he understands what he, I want to have done, mm. but he also understand what's hot right now. What's hot? Okay. So he might okay. be like, "Nah, black, that ain't that ain't it." Yeah. No. Hey, rewrite that part. Yeah, but that's good. You get an honest opinion. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because you get a lot Luce of yes lyric. men in, yeah. in the game yeah, nah, too. Yeah, no, Luce is far from that. Yeah. That, and yeah. that's and I think that's what I, you know, that's what I love about him most. I met him at Island Swag. He was mm-hmm. going through some things. Mm-hmm. He left Island Swag at the same time I left. He mm-hmm. opened his own studio, and mm-hmm. I followed him. Like yeah, right behind yeah, him. I was yeah. the first guy through the door, mm. helping him build the studio and everything. Like, that mean a lot. You was there from, from the ground up. Yeah, 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 from the ground up. Yeah, yeah. And, and and speaking about that, man, I know you just dropped the the Brotherhood project, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, was that is that you and um, me and Eleven? Eleven. Okay. Yeah. Now explain Eleven. I know because y'all was on. Uh, that's my uh, Brody, man. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so he is he more like the he's the, the rapper. He's the rapper. Okay. 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 He, yeah. He is yeah. The, uh, he Listen, comes with the bars and yeah, yeah, yeah. is unbelievable. Allow me to introduce a nigga who needs no introductions. The illest MC by far. End of discussion. Yeah. Listen, you know, I don't, excuse my language, I don't, I don't penis ride. I'm going to try to keep Yeah, yeah, mind. I know what you mean. You know yeah. I mean? But, like, nah. Like, if he's dude, dope, he's dope, the yeah. The dude has been dope since I first met him yeah. 15 years ago, though. Damn, y'all you know go back I mean? like that? Yeah, like, I, I was best friends with his sister. Mm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And then... His sister was cool with me and my homie EJ. He tried to sign with EJ. Mm-hmm. I was working with EJ, so mm-hmm. this is how far back the relationship go. That we was doing music with Gladys Knight's drummer. His name is mm, Foots. Damn. So we go to Foots house and go record music at Foots house. Wow. And then in the midst of it, Eleven was young and had mm. kids and just couldn't balance. That's something mm. me and Eleven talk about a lot. The balance. Yeah, the ba- I, was, I was going to ask talk about the yeah, grind. Got, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talk, talking about all the stuff that I, I do. I got, I got to ask about you about balance. that. The balance. You know yeah. And how how do you, just to pause, pause that, hold yeah, on with yeah, the Eleven. Yeah, yeah. How do how do you balance it? Because you do so much, I don't man. Know, man, God, man. Yeah. I'm being yeah, honest with yeah. you. Let's just. I mean, and give the proper attention to every aspect. I don't know. I don't you know what I mean? It's it's shit's hard, bro. I got. Something that you probably a lot of people don't know, and we don't really talk about it a lot. But I got CTE, mm. you know what I mean, and that's mm. the brain disease from yeah, the sports. brain, yeah, from playing sports, really. So a lot of things I forget, bro. Like, mm. There's times like it's quiet, like quiet as kept. Like it's times I've woken up in the middle of the night in my own house, bro. Don't know where I'm at. Godly, you know dude. I walk out, crazy. walk out my house, sit on my stairs until I figure out where I'm at. Oh, I'm at home. Mm. Man, so that CTE no, shit ain't real. no joke, man. No, it's man. real. No, it's real. Mm. Headaches. You know what I mean? Head, Medical yeah. things. So a lot of that I deal with, and and in dealing with it, mm-hmm. the question you're asking, a lot of people are like, bro, how you deal with that? Mm-hmm. And then do all the shit you do. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. it's God. It's, like, yeah. yeah. What else down, could it be? Like, this, yeah, I write down it? things. I try to keep. It's sports. Like I, yeah. This is this is music as a sport. Mm-hmm. Teaching is a sport. Mm-hmm. I try to do each one mm-hmm. the same way. Okay. Same way. Okay. And I try to give each one the attention that it needs. Now it's not always perfect. Yeah. I mean? It's not yeah, always okay. balanced. Yeah. But yeah. that's where eleven has taught me, and I'm the oldest. Mm-hmm. 
and that's my brother for real. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that, that was the meaning of the brother. Yeah, brother, yeah, brother, yeah, like, yeah, okay, he, yeah. He, he showed me like mm -hmm. balance, bro. Balance, like, yeah. Like, black yeah. could go off and go hard as hell over mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. and I'm talking about going hard and ain't sleeping and then but going hard right in here. These other areas, dog, yeah, help yeah, more or yeah, less. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. And Brody yeah, came yeah. to me and was like, "Bro, I need you around, not even just for this music, just period, brother." Yeah, it's my brother. Yeah, I need you to be here so work on your balance. You feel me? And I think that part of Crown Republic, man, for you, and let me just. Yeah. slide off real quick mm -hmm. that part of crown republic is what i love most mm -hmm. about it mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. is that this we're really a family I'm really yeah but i say hey, it's more than coming, music yeah people come and gone though. yeah don't have they wrong. like artists I mean, and stuff people like come a, and yeah, gone yeah, yeah, people yeah. that don't understand what we really are okay they see it they mm -hmm. see the shine mm -hmm. i want to be a part of you mm -hmm. just looking at us as a label mm -hmm. crown republic entertainment is not a label it's deeper than that you know yeah. what i'm saying and i crown think you got it is the label okay you know what i'm saying yeah crown republic entertainment is the family okay you understand what i'm saying yeah john gotti ish you from kentucky you gotta be family. Listen, you from yeah, Kentucky. Yeah, 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 I, my yeah. daddy taught me a gangster mm -hmm. is somebody to take care of his family. Show sure is. Yeah, you understand yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, a gangster yeah. ain't somebody that's talking about Crips and Bloods and, and red and blue. Up, yeah, no, yeah. a gangster is you going out there and doing whatever you got to do for mm. your family. Real gangster's a family man. Right. Because he's spending time with you his understand? family. He's taking care of his family. That's a gangster. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how gangster. my daddy taught me what gangster was. Oh, right. You know right. what I mean? I, so I when I was young, we talked about the Gerson. All my homies from the Gerson came in talking to Gerson, came in with a green flag my pop mm -hmm. said what do that mean mm -hmm. oh this i'm it's gangster daddy mm -hmm. that's not gangster it's not gangster yeah you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. that's not what gangster that's is. not really what you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah. let me teach you what gangster really is mm -hmm. and he started by showing me mob figure i got a book with all like mafia figures mm -hmm. you know what I mean? but all them was family man they took they yeah they, they fuck with their family heavy yeah yeah, yeah yeah you understand mm -hmm. so that's when i first learned to like what gangsters was. Mm. You know what I mean? and how that's did you get to feel like, how did the Gerson, did you like, grow up and knew some homies that was over uh, there? Man, listen, Clark High School, Cashman. Okay. Like, you know what okay. I mean? I had okay. some homies, you know, D. Treadwell and Bird, and just, mm -hmm. just guys that went to school with us, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And, and they was good dudes. Yeah, good dudes. You know what I mean? Yeah, and what yeah. they was talking about, Gerson Park King. Yeah, I'm GPK. still a king. Yeah, GPK. I'm yeah, still a king. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Valid a king. Now we call yeah. Crown Republic King. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Understand oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still I understood. Yeah, I yeah, understood yeah. what they yeah. was about. Yeah. And I understood what the Gerson was. And it was a community gang. It wasn't yeah. no, they not even Crips or Bloods. Yeah, they kings. Yeah, it was the Kings. Yeah, understand the what kings, I'm saying? Kings, man. Understand? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, it, I loved what what D Tread, that's not my guy, been my guy since we were young, young. But mm -hmm. I love what Tread would talk to me about when mm -hmm. he was talking about mm -hmm. it and what his big homies was teaching him and what it was supposed to mean. What it's supposed you to mean. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Now believe it got watered down. Yeah. Because yeah, gang yeah. banging waters down it, the reality. It, it just, like yeah. even Crippin. Crippin yeah. wasn't about Crips and Bloods, mm -hmm. it was about taking care of your community. Your community. And because the Bloods was over here doing their thing, mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Or whoever was over there doing their thing, we gotta take care of our community, our community. that was the Crips. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And the Bloods started them because mm -hmm. yo, the Crips is doing it, so we gonna they start do. our own. So we gotta do our you own shit, yeah. So yeah. when you think about how it really started and what mm -hmm. it was, mm -hmm. we was on some Black Panther. It was on some Black Panther Everything shit, started yeah. as Black Panther, all black, yeah. and then they yeah. water us down and make mm -hmm. us into this gang. The gang bang, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, they kill it So just, you know, just, and I can't speak on no other gangs in Las Vegas and no other community mm -hmm. uh, type things, but the Gerson to me mm -hmm. as a kid mm -hmm. symbolized community, community and trying yeah. to work. And, and, mm -hmm. and what my daddy talked to me about gangsters, mm -hmm. I could see it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't being portrayed the right it way. Wasn't, it wasn't, but yeah. the underlying meaning of what they were doing, mm -hmm. I was like, I you feel that. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? I feel that. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, my, I was hanging out one day, my pops beat me up. Did he? Straight up. Straight up. My dad told me not to be hanging out in the Gerson. Oh, he's, oh, for out, that? Yeah, really? I was hanging out in the Gerson, and uh, Pops pulled up in his work truck, mm. beat me up. Damn. You know what I'm nobody, Just to teach you a lesson. Nobody Just jumped in. Nobody moved. Mm. And then that's when it hit me like, y'all scared of my daddy? Yeah, yeah. And then the big homie was like, nah, your daddy out here trying to teach you a real lesson. That's Man. real life. Like, you talented. And they had to respect yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, your daddy, listen, we got fools around here. Their daddy ain't never showed up here. Yeah, your pops and showed up in the hood. Be glad you're telling yeah. you, yeah, yeah, yeah telling yeah. you that he don't want you out here. Mm -hmm. You got a football career in school. Go do football in school, man. See, that's real you know shit. I mean? That's so, real shit, bro. And even to this day, mm -hmm. the homie still hit me on Facebook, man. I'm proud of what you are, who you yeah. are, what you've done, man. Yeah. Like you didn't let this get in the way of what yeah. you yeah. Because you know I mean? it could have easily went either way, man. Gang, it could have been gang, like, you know, it could have been so that, many different ways, I man. I just respect the homies because. That's love. That's love. Yeah, yeah. That's real love. For the rest of my life, I don't care what nobody say. Like. I'm, I'm, I mess with the girls. Yeah, you fuck you know one, yeah. Mean, and I did, I, I'm about to show you, man. I
Killer Cam, yeah. all them niggas over here. <laughs> and it was, it was, I just felt them too. Yeah. It just felt like, I, don't, I like, what, I didn't What they game. talking about? Yeah, what they what talking about? Like, when you understand, when you understand the, the, the foundation of where it yeah. came from. I say it again, everything can be watered down, man. Yeah, like, yeah. 10 years from now, man, they can take what we doing in Crown Republic and all of a sudden it'd be big and it'd be watered down be to watered something down. that I didn't yeah. want it to be. Yeah, but, yeah. But change it. And, 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 the foundation, you know, I mean, like mm-hmm. I say, when D Tread, you know, I mean, Derek mm-hmm. Treadwell came and talked to me about it, I was like, bro, that's dope. That's dope. That's you know dope. What I mean? man. Like, yeah, yeah. The idea of where it's coming for Kingsman? Yeah, for Kings, Kingsman. Kingsman. Yeah. I'm a king. Kingsman? You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. So, I ain't even no to this day, listen, even to this day, bro, you know, I talked to me and Derek, mm-hmm. and I'm like, you know, it's on my Facebook right now. Like, you know, like a, a real king know mm-hmm. how to work, and he'll be like, "You yeah. right, a real king." Yeah, I know where he talking yeah. about yeah. king from. Yeah, yeah. but he yeah. understand where I'm coming where I'm from. Coming with my from. King, yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. So yeah. It, that, that to me, that like that ain't no gang banging, man. That's two grown men understanding where they've been through and the foundation in which we was built on. Mm-hmm. You know? And who we are, yeah, as yeah. men, uh, yeah, as men, you know that's some, some king so, shit. And, and that and that's what it is. You know yeah, what I mean? like, yeah. You know what I mean, even when I we moved to. Sahara and Richfield, mm-hmm. you know, and we started a little clique there called, and that's Tupac shit, mm-hmm. you know, Richfield Thug Life, mm-hmm. trying to be disciples of what he was trying to teach. Okay, you know, that that the whole mentality. Right okay. down the street is a street called King's Way. Mm. I know what you're talking about, right by, by Palace Station. Station. Yeah, King's Way, right up. I know exactly what you're talking you know what about. Saying? Wow. So all of that, that, all of that played into my life and growth. So when I tell people I'm really from the hood, like, mm. bro, I'm really from the hood. Yeah, like, I'm really. Yeah, I grew yeah. up in the hood. I, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I grasped yeah. things and grew in the hood. Mm-hmm, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So who I am today, the man I am today, all of that. Don't look at me for my flaws. Look at yeah. for me how far I've come. How far? Yeah, yeah. You a lot, a lot, man. And that's what Crown Republic is. Crown Republic is the is the building of. Mm-hmm. Kings and queens, regardless of what color and race, mm-hmm. to understand that mm-hmm. we kings and queens, and the first thing we're supposed to be doing is helping our community. Helping our community. And if yeah. we can do that by making music, mm-hmm. if we can do that by going to schools and speaking, mm-hmm. if we can do that by community outreach programs, if we can do that by making nonprofits, mm-hmm. coaching, whatever it is, that's your. That's what we're supposed to be doing, man. Yeah, that's what God put yeah. us here. That's for, what we put man. us here for. You understand? Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely believe that, man. Finding your purpose, and, and just to touch right back on eleven. So he was the first <laughs> cat that like. Came into the fold with you that like nah nah no nah, nah, nah. Um, but he's like the mainstay he, now he, though. He yeah. is my right arm. Okay, because I know I heard that the gospel joint. I'm like yeah, he's a beast. Ooh, this a beast. man. I was like a just minute say, in. I, I I'm like man. Say, say, say he's a beast. He's a beast. Ooh, I said this and he's a real hip hop head. He's a real you know hip hop head. He's a real hip hop head. He came out just raw. raw. And just ripped yeah, it, man. Yeah, he, ripped uh, it, man. I love Eleven for you know Eleven was a foster kid. Really? You know what I mean? Eleven went through. He's from Fresno. Eleven went from Texas. You know what I mean? I went through a lot, man. Mm. You know what I mean? So this project, we got a project coming out. It's called Out of My Mind. Mm-hmm. It's when another you, project coming out. Oh up? my God. And when you man. hear it, bro, like when you hear the project, mm-hmm. you just gonna be like. It's to be our second one together? No, this is by himself. This is solo. Oh, it's by him by yeah, himself. So his okay. solo's called Out of My Mind. My solo's called Mama's Boy. Okay. And then I got another artist, my little cousin out of, he's from Vegas, but he lives in Arizona. He's mm-hmm. got one called Collective Scars. That's what okay. we drop next. Man, he's doing a lot of stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. Listen, we selling now. Okay, okay. And when, yeah. we got, when I got the deal mm-hmm. and it gave us distribution, and mm-hmm. it's my distribution. I don't got to ask nobody. Nobody. Now, now it's upload, time to listen, put projects I out. I upload songs and all that from my computer. I don't mm-hmm. have to ask nobody. Nothing nobody. about nothing. You understand? That's what it's about. I push through myself. I don't. Mm. I am the CEO. I, I, yeah. I don't have to ask nobody. I, push the I don't to have make... to go to nobody at Empire and be like, "Is this song okay?" Wow. You feel me? Wow. They giving me go. That's you go. Wow. You feel me? That's and a great your situation. About how it happened? We were in San Diego working with my guy Loose, my mm-hmm. engineer, mm-hmm. and he was working with a couple people. Where at this time, this is like three years ago, four years ago, mm-hmm. Empire was still giving out distribution deals. Mm-hmm. Like you didn't have to sign with them. You could buy your way into Empire mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and be a part of Empire and they'll mm-hmm. do everything and help you. Okay. But you're on your own. You're, you're on, on your own, own entity. You do all your you legwork. You're all your yeah, own yeah, entity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they don't do that no more. Now they you gotta don't? sign with them in order for mm-hmm. them to give you distribution. So at that time it was like, you know, the guy that approached me and was like, you know, this is how much money it is. And I was on the verge of moving back to Vegas. So I'm mm-hmm. like, yeah, I just don't really have it right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And he was like, Bro, you need this. Like he like all the music you putting out right mm-hmm. now, you need this. So my business partner in San Diego was like, I'll do it. Mm. You know what I mean? I'll mm. take care of it for black. And I didn't know nothing about it. They, he did it with my engineer. Wow. It was a surprise. So we actually sat on a distribution deal for a whole year because mm. we wasn't prepared. And I'm not mad at him now because now it's beautiful. Now but at the him. time I was upset with him because we got a distribution deal 
and we don't have any music to no, sell. Yeah, yeah, we got to put shit everything out. we yeah. have is mixtape. Music, okay, you yeah, we got to put somebody else's beat. Something okay, like. so we okay. wasn't prepared. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But mm-hmm. he put us in a place for us to be successful, and that's great. But mm-hmm. it wasn't a smart move in that year. In that, in that you know year, I mean? yeah, yeah. But probably not knowing. Run, yeah, yeah, not, not knowing. No, not no, knowing. No. Yeah. Think, no, and. And legit styles, I love you to death. That's my Brody, mm-hmm. uh, and he just stepped away. Like okay. the company is all mine now. Mm-hmm. Me and him as business partners. Mm-hmm. Um, Jid is kind of a loner. He's a uh, what's it called when you to yourself? Mm-hmm. Introvert. Yeah. Okay. He's very, okay. Very much so. Very introvert. introvert. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Okay. So when it comes to the company, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm the lead head. You know what I mm-hmm. mean? He'll be like, okay, just do whatever, Randy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And then I'll be like, okay, he's he's like the law. He's the mm-hmm. backing behind it. He knows all the contracts. Stuff. Okay. So all, all the legal, like, the yeah. legal so side. So I'll be like, yo, just tell me. You know, Bro, you know what, Black, you got this. You got it, yeah. And so our yeah. last meeting in San Diego, he said it like, bro, I'm gonna step away and let you do this. Oh, really? He was just I'm not doing nothing. Like, I'm I don't do nothing. Yeah, you know yeah, I, mean? I don't yeah. do nothing. It's really you running the company, so mm. I'm just gonna give you my 49. percent It's on you. You know what I mean? So wow, um, that's and, tough. and I always have half to, of the company. Bro, yeah. I have to always love him for that because that's that's real shit. He man. made it happen. Yeah, you that's understand? Real, yeah, Black, yeah. if you can't get it right now, mm-hmm. you not you can't afford to do this mm-hmm. right now, and they want to sign you, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'll make it so they can sign you. Damn, you feel me? Yeah. So we get that done, and and you know, like I said, for that year, we were kind of open with the with the with the distribution, and mm-hmm. just being who I am, I don't like to leave nothing open. Yeah, you know I, mean? I don't yeah, want to get a distribution yeah. deal and then for a whole year not do nothing. Nothing. Yeah, that's a waste of time. Looking at us like, what the hell did you get distribution? Yeah, yeah. For, what, what, are we, what are we doing? Yeah, what right. Are we doing? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you know that happened, and then we started to transition towards getting away from mixtape music mm-hmm. and and making music to sell. Real, real that's music. Where the, yeah. That's where the Brotherhood Project came from. Mm-hmm. And, line for line and mm-hmm. we start making music like this is what we want to say okay this you had a I crown get. mixtape or something yeah too. we got yeah. uh crown uh, crown public the mixtape that comes oh. out we working on part three of that okay um i got my little cousin that's i'll tell you in, in scottsdale arizona mm-hmm. he's got a project that's a mixtape coming out called collective scars mm-hmm. and the way i like to work in in artist development mm-hmm. Is you got to give me a mixtape first. Yeah, you got to give me. Yeah, yeah. I got to first show me. I got to show. Yeah, I'm into yeah, analytics, yeah, man. Yeah, and a lot yeah, of people yeah. talk about that. No analytics. I won't go into that in a little while, but people, oh, the analytics don't mean it. it means everything. It means a lot. What you know data is so important nowadays? Like, Absolutely. what are they saying? Absolutely. Now, yeah, before I before I get vested, let Why? me see. Yeah, let me see, let me see. Can yeah. I say this for you, yeah, Ross? Yeah. And I'm just talking to all the artists out there, mm-hmm. anybody. Before you tell somebody that they have to pay you for something, yeah, yeah, show them some analytics. Show them some. Show them because if you yeah. can't show me, I'm just telling you from my business point yeah, yeah. and me doing this now almost mm-hmm. ten years. Yeah, yeah, if you can't show, because I can show you analytics. Yeah, yeah, I can show you right now, Defrost, me having having me on your show. Mm-hmm. I can show you how many viewers I get. Mm-hmm. I can show you how many sales I you got. Gotta, you got to show me. I can me the show numbers. you numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah if yeah, you're yeah. telling me I got to pay you for a hook or a mm-hmm. verse or to mm-hmm. come perform at one of my events mm-hmm. and you can't. Show me analytics. Yeah, you look stupid you look to stupid. me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we talking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are we doing? You right? You gotta show me some. Yeah, you, you gotta be. And right. if you tell me that's not important, mm-hmm. then that shows me where mm-hmm. you are in this business. You're not game. even. You're not even in tune. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. You don't that, get that, it. That, that data runs everything. That's that, what it, it is. runs everything. And man. if you're talking about getting paid, that's where I work for free for some artists. Mm-hmm. But then if I have an artist where I feel like, yo, I'm doing more to help you than yeah, you're going to be yeah, doing yeah, to yeah, help me, yeah, yeah. then I'm going to need you to pay me yeah. and let me show you well, yeah. how me being so on yeah, your song yeah, is going to help yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. understand? If I'm doing, and I, I was always big in that in my part, like you got to match my effort. Absolutely. Yeah, I can't be like. If I'm the one doing everything, but yeah, then you got to pay me yeah, for Then this. you got to pay me. You right, and especially right. in the business now that I'm in now. Mm-hmm. I do it. I'm an advisor. I'm a manager. Consultant. I'm the consultant. I'm yeah. the e, like CEO. Mm-hmm. Like I had to give eleven director of music because I don't want to have to be you trying to direct hats. the music yeah, too. Yeah, you too feel many hats. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. And, and that's where your statement and this he was with me from the beginning. No, I had more people with me. Like we had mm-hmm. Crown Republic South before right now. I heard it say. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I looked on. It, I yeah, seen I had, South. Crown, yeah. I had I had thirteen guys Crown Damn. Republic South at first in Richmond. Mm. Not in all of Kentucky, just Richmond, in Kentucky. Richmond. I had 13 different wow, artists. Dude. And it got to a point where they were more focused on the perception mm-hmm. than the money. Than the money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. doing music to chase hoes. We're not doing music to chase hoes. Yeah, but they do, they doing it for the lifestyle. You know what I'm yeah, come on. Because it looks man. a certain kind of way. Because it looks a certain way. We're not yeah. worried about how but it looks. At the looked. end of the day, are you, are you Did made? it affect your bank yeah, account yeah, the way yeah. it looked? At the end of the day. Because that's all that mattered to me because I'm the one investing in taking yeah, flights back and forth to Vegas and Kentucky. and That's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Excuse me, but a chick ain't helping me in that. Ain't, show ain't. You yeah. feel me? So we had to kind of close that down, mm-hmm.
for real, I really enjoyed the building of it. Mm-hmm. It's like mm-hmm. a football team. Yeah, it's yeah. like sports. It's building it up. Find yeah. the pieces. It is. Yeah. Find the pieces. Yep. And right. I feel like now. Put the right pieces We're together. a contender. Yeah, yeah. We may not have won yeah. a championship yet. But we, we're right But we're a, we're a contender. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm Toronto. Yeah, yeah. You're Toronto. Yeah. Hey, I'm knocking on the 76ers. You're knocking on the door. Yeah, yeah. You're knocking on Like, I might be a couple pieces short right now. But we contending right now. One draft pick away from Yeah, we're going to get it together. That's what it looks like. Yeah. And speaking on that, man, you like what you coming up? You got a show coming up, right? Yeah, yeah June twenty second. June twenty second. Okay. Uh, what is that about? So man? listen, I used to have uh, ownership in this place called the Attic, right there off of Charleston. Remember the Attic? Yeah, yeah, downtown, yeah what happened right. to it? Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> is it still around? Like, what is it now? Listen, like, my business partner is crazy. Mm, AJ is crazy. Straight up, and uh, he moved to LA and then Oakland, and now he's in New York on skyscraper. Wow. I don't know what he's doing, bro. He's crazy. Wow. He's one. Of them, he's one of them. Uh, he's one of them Arabics, man. Like. He's a real hustler, man. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. when you meet him, you see it. You see it. Like okay. it ain't you don't you don't have to ask. Yeah, you, you can you tell. You know what I'm saying? The vibe tell. that come off him, you already know, like, mm. oh, I don't know if I want to do business with you, dog. You a hustler. Man. Yeah, you're a hustler. You real hustler. Really? And the he, one that kind of hangs off of Charleston and Maine, right? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, okay, right there. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Not the one that go you go down Main Street, keep coming down Charleston. Almost is it third? You make like uh. It used to be on the right hand side of the street, coming down from from downtown, mm-hmm. and it in uh, downstairs was it the on vape Charleston or Maine? It's on Charleston. Okay. The one you are talking about is the clothing spot. Oh, okay. That's yeah, what, no, okay. this one is. It, it, this so was, it was you, called the vape layer downstairs. We okay. sold vapes and all that. Okay. And then upstairs there was a whole nother area, and we mm-hmm. called that the attic. Oh, you understand? okay. So we were doing clothes, and, I, and then the point of it being, um, I used to call do a show there at the end of every month, and it was mm-hmm. called. The music and laughs showcase. Okay. 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 And then once we kind of lost that building, I just kind of went away from it, and we did some other shows here and there. Mm-hmm. But I've always liked the idea of music and laughs. Yeah, I never you know thought saying? about pairing those two together. I've no, always yeah, loved yeah. it. Like you think about it, you know what I mean? You start the show off with a comedian, mm-hmm. ah, hi, everybody laughing. Hey, a couple artists get on, another comedian get but on. It's good because it's like a variety show, you and get it breaks up the yeah, monotony. Yeah, like yeah, you ain't yeah. just sitting there listening to music all night. Like this is yeah, whack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whack. That, that's He's a hell of an idea, man. You break yeah. it up, you know what I mean? To give them some laughs, give mm-hmm. them some music, let the mm-hmm. DJ do his thing for mm-hmm. a minute, give them some laughs, give them some music. Yeah, yeah, it's smart as fuck. It, bro. It, bro, it it took off when we had yeah. the attic. It took off like it was two summers that it just rocked, and I was like, and "How yeah, often would you say once a month? Once a month. We okay. did it at the end okay. of each month. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So I just want to get back to that. And yeah. I got Ninja so in this one coming up, will this be like the the re reemergence? The it's of it? called the second day of summer music and laugh showcase. Oh man, that's June twenty second. June twenty second. Yeah. Okay, Ninja, Ninja Karaoke Bar. We got uh, JJ Marie giving us comedy. Jero okay. giving us Jero, comedy. Shout out to Jero. Yeah, that's my bro. He already from, from knows. the Bar Stew Podcast. Uh, yeah, yeah you did. Okay. Ski. Uh, who, who else gonna be uh, music wise? Uh, music wise, we, we got Raw Savage, Rick Rock, uh, mm-hmm. M- MMG West. So you mm-hmm. know Rick Rock. I mean, you oh. know uh, Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Okay. So his one of his artists named Rick Rock gonna be out there. Mm. Um, I gotta get up on some of them cats. Uh, Raw Savage. Okay. Uh, Pace Brown. He does R and B. Pace Brown. Yeah. Okay. And okay. then Eleven. I got Eleven doing his own little showcase. Okay. And then Quiet is kept. Only everybody listening and seeing this right now. But mm-hmm. Dread Bang is gonna be in the building. Dread Bang. Bang. I heard yeah, it. Dread Bang. Hard too. Yeah. Okay. okay. So I mess with a lot. I got a nice got little a nice, circle. Yeah, yeah, I got a nice, nice little circle of people. Yeah, yeah, and I, yeah. I keep my network big, mm-hmm. but I keep my circle small. Okay. You understand. You are OG. Yeah, smart, yeah, you know yeah. I mean, I want to network and meet everybody, yeah. but you ain't going to see but me hanging circle, out with everybody. Yeah, yeah, uh, that ain't yeah, just who yeah, I am. You yeah. know what I mean? Like they I hang say with those your, that I trust. Yeah, what they say, your, your network determines your net worth. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. That's, that's a smart way hey, to look at absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to know everybody. Yeah, yeah. And, and the crazy part is, listen, everybody yeah, might yeah. know me. A lot of people be like, no, don't you know? Nah. Nah, I don't know you. If I see his face, I probably recognize him. Yeah. But I only know my circle. Yeah, my circle. And me and Jerome talk about it all the time. Like, I got another little thing coming up where we're gonna do a tour. Okay. And but I'm only gonna I'm doing it like Cat Williams and them. I'm okay. doing it like Martin Lawrence and them. Like, I'm gonna go grab me seven people, six mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. music and laugh. Okay. It's gonna be the music That's and laugh tour. Cold. You might you know start something with that. And we're gonna go around them, but mm-hmm. only with these people. But only with these, I'm yeah, not gonna yeah. take different people every time we go to a different nah, city. Keep that it's gonna core. be the same people. Yeah, yeah. And we're yeah, gonna yeah. travel yeah. and go to different shows. That's gotta be and live, different, and then the, the way I got it set up right now with the sponsor, it's gonna be like bar hops. Okay. So we're gonna come in and do like three bars in one night. 
Okay. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's a lot. Or three man. bars in one weekend. Okay. You feel okay. me? Like Friday, okay. Saturday, Sunday, we're going to knock but, your whole city out. Yeah, but you with so me? many little bars and establishments, man, they love some shit like Stop it. Stop playing. Man, man. You know what I mean? So that's the direction in which we're going, and we really trying to run with this hip hop and be. I'm, I'm grown. Yeah, yeah. I don't make yeah. trap music. Yeah. If you yeah, want me to, yeah. I can talk about some of the stuff I used yeah, to do, but I don't yeah. really want to do that no more. Because now I got more kids listening. More kids, yeah. You feel me? So now I want to talk about life. I'm talking about life. Yeah, talking about real life shit. Talking about me and who I am. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I, and real life shit at this, at this stage in your life in our lives you know what I mean you know a, a, that's real shit man I can't talk mm -hmm. to you about I mean I hustle and I grind but I can't yeah. talk to you about trapping I don't trap yeah I can't yeah and then how how that content is limited I'm like how much how many different how many songs you, I'm gonna you, give it to you yeah how much can you and that's why I think that? music is watered down now because mm -hmm. everybody talking about I forget who I was listening to the other day but he, he's a rapper and he said it's funny to me how Everybody keeps using the same words like Coco. Yeah, yeah. like, okay, yeah. And that part hit me, did, listen, yeah. that part hit me so hard. Like, when's the last rapper you heard make fun of the word that everybody's using? Yeah, that's crazy. You know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? I never heard that. That's like, he's crazy. clowning y'all. He's clowning He's clowning yeah, the whole yeah. industry because yeah, all of y'all yeah. talking about Every, Coco. Yeah, like, you, you know feel I mean? me? Like, how many times we gonna keep using it? Yeah, how, how many, many different ways we gonna put it in a song? He's like, we we sound like robots, yeah, bro. I'm telling, yeah, I gotta go get it yeah, for you, draw. Yeah, hey, when I heard it, I was like, ooh, he just that, killed the yeah, game yeah. with that. You feel me? Yeah, that's why I like nobody the wants you to do that. that. Nobody you know wants mean? to do and that. And man. that's where we at. That's why I'm talking to you about eleven. Eleven, bro, mm -hmm. brings eleven is Tupac reincarnated, not a gangster, not a gangster. Yeah, not, not a trying gangster. to be a gangster. Yeah, not not trying to. Yeah, he's feeding you real. Like I call him my my, my militaristic. Yeah, movement. it's like a militant mindset. Yeah, it's just that's when I he heard, does. I know bars. Yeah, that's what when he I does. heard, I'm like, okay, Wait till you hear this, new this project. motherfucker ain't playing. Wait till you hear this new, yeah. out of my mind. Listen, mm -hmm. I probably, you know, his label is called Black Fist. Okay, you know what so I'm saying? he's all about that's yeah, his okay, label, okay, and then okay. B L A K. It mm -hmm. stands for something. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, those letters stand for something. Oh, okay, it's an acronym. Yeah, so, okay, you okay, feel me? okay. So that's what he does, and when, when I let him loose, like when we do this, like I produce him. That's, that's my little Brody. Like I, mm -hmm. I do everything I can to make sure he eats, mm -hmm. um, and he works hard. And I gave him a position as director of music because he mm -hmm. works hard. He works me? hard. Yeah, but he's, yeah. he's 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 young in the business aspect. Okay, okay. but he's old in the music like, aspect. Yeah, okay. I see. And saying. he's been through so much. Mm -hmm, like I said, mm -hmm. he's been a foster kid, bro. Now, I don't. Know. I ain't never been a foster kid. Yeah. But I know I've heard stories. Yeah. You understand? He has a lot. And, and to think yeah. about it, if you've endured all of that, mm -hmm. this shit ain't nothing. It's, this ain't nothing, yeah. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. This shit ain't, ain't nothing. If you didn't been through that, I yeah, can teach yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Yeah, and that's where 11 yeah. is. He's learning. He's growing. And the, the listen, man, the, the Out of My Mind project, it, it's, uh, it's a very militaristic um, pro-us okay. project. Okay. And when can, when can we expect that? Later this year or? Maybe just I know it's I know come it, on, Frog. What I know, you doing? <laughs> we gonna leave it. We gonna leave it as it, when it uh, come out. When I, they hear, uh, yeah. I know. Right now, I'm gonna drop my Cease Loco project. My little cousin in Arizona. Okay. Collective Scars. He's dropping next. Okay. Um, I got an artist out of Fresno who's a gospel rapper. His name is Honest J. We got um, you got a lot of shit in the works, bro, man. I got thirty artists. God, you know what I'm saying, and that's just that's models, rappers, mm -hmm. spoken word. That's all. All of that. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. But um. I got a gospel rapper who's coming mm -hmm. out, and I wouldn't—I won't call him a god, inspirational rapper. Inspira yeah. It's not always God, but mm -hmm. he's always inspirational. Mm -hmm. He got a project that called Co World Survivors that we're gonna mm -hmm. drop, and Eleven is featured on that. So it's um, OC, mm -hmm. um, Honest J, and Eleven. They did a joint project together. Okay. Okay. Um, then we got Eleven's project, and then I got a project, my solo project that I'm gonna mm -hmm. put out. It's called Mama's Boy. Mm -hmm. um, you got shit in the chamber, man. Yeah. I, I like when labels yeah, do that, man. Yeah. It takes me back to like the No Limit Day when you Absolutely. open the CD, listen, and you see all the motherfuckers. That's where, shit I, that's where drop. listen. That's where I got my whole business. Like I hate to say, I copied somebody, but, but still, that's, yeah, that's, that's, what, that's I, what the game's that's about. What I yeah, like, yeah, I copied Master P, like mm -hmm. the way Master P was man, doing he, it. Yeah, and how he went about trying to put it together. Like I remember, bro, I bought a gang of CDs, bro, that was blue and red and yellow mm -hmm. and green, mm -hmm. and everybody else's CDs was clear. Yeah, everybody. And yeah, I used to trip yeah, out like, yeah. why does food make these colored CDs? It's color, but this shit was so colorful. Yeah, this shit's stupid. Mm -hmm. Then when it start dropping every Tuesday, yeah. I'm like, no, it ain't stupid. And when I start putting them damn things in my CD holders, mm -hmm. yeah, I start looking like that's all Master P shit right that's there. All Master How you know? Look at the colors. Look at the color, yo. He, he yeah. the only one that got CD cases that's mm -hmm. colored. You color. feel me? Then open it up. He's got it's coming up next. Yeah, I, man, man, I like this shit, man. So that's I start looking I'm at from. it. Yeah, I yeah. start looking at it like. 
damn, bro, that's yeah, how we build it. That's the way to do it, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's how we build it. In order for it to work the way we want it to work, mm-hmm. we build it like that. Yeah. And then we yeah. take the idea from what Jay came up with, with the mm-hmm. Rock Nation, after Dame, post mm-hmm. Dame. After Dame, yeah. Post yeah, Dame, yeah, 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 you feel yeah, yeah. me? Because mm-hmm. Dame was smart, don't get me wrong. Yeah, Dame was smart. Dame, Dame was smart. took them to a certain point. But Dame was a bully. He was a bully, yeah. You understand? And then you, he, he like limited himself about how he was going to do it. Because he was a bully. Because then nobody want to fuck with him. Yeah, he was a bully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the I Lakers know. shit. Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, yeah. The dude that runs the Lakers now, yeah. uh, Pascal, Palenka. Whatever, Palenka. 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 Same way. Same way. When he was an same. agent, you had yeah. to be a bully. That's your yeah, job. Yeah, yeah, Now, yeah. you the GM of a team, yeah. and them same people you used to bully, mm-hmm. they don't want to work with they you now. They don't want to fuck with you. So now you can't get trades. Don't nobody want to help you in no way. fuck with you. You got bullied. Look at Dang. Yeah, Dame had a Dame. Uh, what was it? Uh, Dame Entertainment Music. Mm-hmm. Dame Music Entertainment. Whatever yeah, Dame some, opened yeah. up after he left Rock, right? Yeah, bro, they made a couple good songs. Yeah. You see, and you ain't seen no movies seen come nothing. out. You ain't seen Dame nothing. Dame was yeah. killing the movies a minute ago. He was killing them, yeah. You yeah, feel yeah, me? You yeah, ain't yeah, seen no good yeah. movies come out. Because now you, you bully so many people, mm-hmm, bro. After mm-hmm. a while, you didn't understand. Jay was the power. Mm-hmm. Dame, you was just the mouth. He was the mouth. Yeah. yeah you feel yeah, me? Yeah. You cut the head off the body, yeah, there is no power. Yeah, nothing else. Yeah. You feel me? I totally the body agree. can keep yeah. going. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That head can't keep going. He fucked you feel it me? up. So there's where Dame lost it. So I liked what. Dame did. I just didn't like the bully aspect mm-hmm. of it, but I like where Jay went after after that. Yeah, like, yeah. And I think I think some of what Jay did was shady. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. Guy. I think so. That's yeah, your guy. that's your you boy. Do that, that's your you know boy. I mean? yeah. But it was business. Yeah, yeah. And you it's like that? Dr. Dre says sometimes the business side of this shit can you know come yeah, between the, the friendship. Yeah, yeah. you know, like with yeah, him and Easy, but it's business. Yeah, but you got to understand. That's where as friends you have to understand it's business. It's business. Yeah. Like if I might. A conversation I had with my little cousin, we just mm-hmm. left San Diego a week ago mm-hmm. recording this project. We sitting outside at Legit's birthday party. Mm-hmm. My little cousin Chris is like, yo, cut, I just wanna tell you I love you, I thank mm-hmm. you for supporting me. But shut up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Quit telling me that. Yeah. I'm telling mm-hmm. you what, I love you, brother. Mm-hmm. Like you my family, but I'm telling you I thank you for Shut up. Mm-hmm. It's business. It's me. business. It's business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna yeah. be my cousin. You gonna be regardless. Yeah, yeah. This shit could flop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you still mm-hmm. my cousin. You still my cousin. But right. I don't need you right now in the midst. This is Saturday night. We still gotta record tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Don't thank me for shit. Work. Work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. me by working. Yeah. Show me results. This is business. Yeah. You That's understand? True. Even with family. Even Absolutely. With, it's business. It's I business. learned that from the first time we had Crown Public South. Mm-hmm. Cause most of Crown Post was my family, mm-hmm. and I went out there like, yeah, let's get it, we yeah, excited, yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. And then three months in, I was like, what the fuck? Here go, here go the business side showing up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, they, where is the business? The where? Yeah. Cause we yeah. still want to have fun and act up, and okay, it's time okay. for business. Ain't no business getting done. Ain't we no want to be yeah, clowns. Yeah, we yeah, want to yeah. do it for the chicks. And yeah, yeah. Where the business? I'm where looking the for the money. Yeah, where the yeah. money? Where the money? Cause these airplane tickets ain't free. Sure ain't. You feel me? So that's the part where I've grown. And I can be blunt at times. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? mm-hmm. I'm a Capricorn. You just be straight up. Yeah, man. I'm a Capricorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in being blunt, sometimes I, to my cousin Chris, like I don't all that. I love you. Shit, mm-hmm. keep that shit. Keep in your that pocket. shit. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? that's real. I understand yeah. this business. Mm-hmm. Go in there, mm-hmm. kill that mic. Give me a good project that mm-hmm. I can push. Mm-hmm. If you come out that booth on Sunday mm-hmm. and it ain't right, mm-hmm. it's getting shelved. It's getting shelved. Yeah. Like, yeah. Are you gonna still love me then? Yeah, yeah, is it still, yeah. yeah. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, I support yeah. you. If yeah. I shelf your shit, yeah. you if still said, appreciate yeah, me and whack, support me? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's the part of it where we had to really grow. I mm-hmm. had to grow, the company mm-hmm. had to grow, mm-hmm. the, the, the family had to grow, mm-hmm. the unit mm-hmm. had to the grow. The unit had to grow, yeah. this shit business. Yeah. Crown Public Entertainment, that's family. Crown Music, that's business. That's business, yeah. Yeah. So you want to do these little yeah. barbecues and yeah. all that and hanging yeah. out? Yeah. That's all cool. That's cool. Yeah. You want to cross over here and we talk about this music shit? Yeah. That's business. See, that's good. You draw the line. It's business. Yeah, that's draw the yeah, line. Yeah. Business. yeah. That's, that's real, man. Growth, man. Growth, yeah. yeah. And speaking of growth, man, do you like, because I don't want to neglect, like, because the music is just one side of you, man. Do you mm-hmm. think, like, being a teacher and a coach, a mentor, all that has kind of like shaped the whole, yeah, and it bleeds yeah, over to other yeah, areas of your yeah. life. That's what uh, Eleven says all the time. Like mm-hmm. when I when I really stop, I'm like, damn, I'm a teacher now. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, you've been a teacher. Yeah, and I'm like, no, nah, I start teaching. He was like, no, nah, I'm not talking about as a job. Mm-hmm. You've been and teaching like, all your life, bro. coaching. Yeah. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. leadership, all that. You've been doing that shit, so mm-hmm. everything comes natural. That's what you do. That's what you do. And, yeah. and you work well with kids. Mm-hmm. Like I told you before, I, I I have much better
you know, when you was a kid, teacher say, do this. And you'd be like, okay, can you tell me why? Because I said why? so. Gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a why guy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know I need saying? to understand. Say, yeah. if, you, if you told me right now, Frost, I love you, dog. Why? Why? Yeah. I you need I need to understand what's behind. Explain yeah. to me yeah, so yeah. I get it. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. So when it comes to kids, mm -hmm. I give them the why before the mm -hmm. what you should be doing. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you want to be better at this, this, and this, and that, mm -hmm. this is what you do. Mm. Oh, damn. Okay, coach. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I got to get better. I got to do A, B, and C, mm. then I'll be better at this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A, B, C yeah. equal D. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. That's the way we should be teaching that's the rather way. than saying, do D. Yeah. And just leave it at that. And just live. Yeah. Why am I doing yeah. D? Because mm -hmm. I said so. Mm -hmm. That means. Why? I don't even listen to my parents. Why am I listening to you? Why? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how yeah. kids are now. That's how they are. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, you know, yeah. you talking Especially about? in this era. Yeah. Too. This era, Internet yeah. era? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can't teach me nothing. I can go right on Google. Pull it right up. Find yeah. whatever I want to find pull out. Pull it right you know up, me? man. Pull so that's right where up. the difference is, is that mm -hmm. I've learned, even in teaching, how to, to interact with people a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Also, I've learned to be a little bit sterner. I have a problem saying no. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a problem? I do. Yeah. I do. You do? I do. Yeah. I have a problem saying no. I'm like my dad. Yeah. Like my yeah. grandfather. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the Kentucky. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you have a problem telling somebody no because yeah. we're built to help one another. To help one another. I used to be like that too, yeah. but I heard something that made a lot of sense. So you say no, you can always change your mind. Yeah. Yeah, but then, you know, I give it a little second thought. But yeah. you can right off be like, nah, hell no, nah, I'm cool. Yeah. But then you can always change yeah. your mind. You yeah. know what I mean? But even when you say yes, mm -hmm. you feel guilty if you, you say no guilty. later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah that's, so that's true. That's why I think when you make that decision, mm -hmm. be stern in that decision. Be stern, yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. And some people, quiet as kept, need to hear no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Understand mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. Nah, I can't help you with that this time. Yeah, I can't help you. You feel me? Yeah. yeah and then, yeah. oh, okay. Well, Damn, I'm gonna have to figure it out. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what it Just like I had to. to when I went through whatever situation I had to go through. Mm -hmm, I had to mm -hmm. figure it out. That's you true. I mean? So yeah, sometimes you gotta go through it. Yeah. Sometimes helping people enables them. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah, hinders yeah. them. It, it hinders them. Yeah. You know it hinders their development. Absolutely. You know what I mean? It yeah. hinders their the development. Growth. The growth. And that's yeah. where as a CEO of my company, mm -hmm. as father and leader of my family, mm -hmm. I'm I'm hard on my guys. Yeah, you gotta be. Ladies, yeah, yeah, you, know yeah, you gotta be. And they'll yeah. tell you. My team will tell you first. Like Randy can be an asshole sometimes. Yeah. Absolutely. But I'm bringing out the best. Absolutely. In you. I'm but I'm making you be the best you can be. Yeah. Without yeah. me having to do everything for you. Mm -hmm. You feel everything, me? How do you yeah. grow if I'm doing it all? If I'm doing it all. Yeah. 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 yeah man. Yeah. Do you think, man, as we as we start to wrap and close, do you think you've aligned yourself with your purpose? I mean, it seems like it to me, and I, I you know what I mean? I always, <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. Just seems you. <laughs> like it, it was, and sometimes in life, man, it's hard to find that, man. You know what I mean? But through, you know, through the, like you say, the teaching, the coaching, the music, it seems like it's all kind of. I'm in my lane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know. Where I'm driving to, I don't know, that's God's plan. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, but yeah. I know he's he's put me in my lane. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? He's yeah. found. Uh, musically, mm -hmm. uh, career, mm -hmm. uh, fun-wise, mm -hmm. whatever, lifestyle, whatever, mm -hmm. he, he's put me in my lane. Mm -hmm. This is where we're going. Yeah, it's now, regardless going. of the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ride this lane. Like, mm -hmm. don't get off on the bypass. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't get yeah. off on the You see so many exits. Listen, yeah. listen, it might look like, oh, that might be better for me. Yeah, nope, yeah. stay right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is your lane. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Now the trials and tribulations within that lane is on mm -hmm. me. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. keeping my air tire pressure. Up, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, keeping yeah. Keeping my yeah. motivation, my engine running. Keep my oil change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's real tough. That's real. Yeah, you know I mean? that's so, real tough. Um, and that, that's part of the, the being dedicated. Mm -hmm. And, and um, it sounds crazy because I don't mean this in a racial way at all, mm -hmm. but. I'm a real black man. Well, yeah, I understand, I understand it totally. I understand it totally. So to be for a, my people, for my people, yeah, yeah I understand it totally, man. yeah. To be yeah. a black man, I'm trying to set an example, and, and not just an example to black kids, but mm -hmm. to all kids. All kids, yeah. understand yeah. that, yo, the PE coach that you just had at mm -hmm. this private school that was predominantly white, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And those kids, when he left, went crazy and mm -hmm. wrote letters to the school and all that. Yeah. That's a black man. It's a black man. That's a black man. From the hood. From the hood, yeah. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. These kids are the one percenters. Mm, you understand mm, what I'm saying mm, to you? Yeah. These kids' yeah. families got enough money, they, they don't matter the what they want to do. Yeah, they, 
Whatever they, whatever they want to do, yeah. They want to yeah, do, they yeah. do that because their mom go and do. them got the money for they that. They got it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. black man mm -hmm. made a purpose and a meaning and a difference in our school. Yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah, when they yeah. tell you that they're going to miss you and there's tears running out yeah, their eyes. Yeah, you yeah. understand? That ain't just a, bye, Mr. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's real. That's a yeah, damn, yeah. coach. I'm going to miss you, I'm going to miss you, yeah. You you made an impact on their life. You know what I mean? And if I can, you know, a former Kentuckian, Muhammad Ali, I grew up right around the corner from his daddy. But I remember he said on, on his special, he got a good good special called What's My Name? Mm -hmm. And he said, he said, the boxing ain't really, it's ain't really nothing. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm, he said, I, you know, this is like how he felt. He said, I'm just doing this to fulfill my real purpose. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. And it, it was so crazy. Yeah, Cause absolutely. like, he said, I don't look at it like it's all this. This is just giving me the money yeah. and the platform yeah, to, put me where to I need do to be what at. I really need yeah. to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I just thought that was no, crazy, that's facts, man. Yeah. That's how I yeah. feel too though. Yeah. And, and, and not that I'm all, all in any yeah, shape or Yeah, but I, I know form, what you're saying. But yeah, yeah. things have put me in a place to be where I need to be in order to for be my able to do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm no longer yelling and screaming out my Words of inspirement from the west side of Las Vegas. Yeah, yeah. I'm up here in Sunday. I'm up here. Now. Yeah, I'm up here yeah. In Anthem now. Yeah, I'm up yeah. Here. And the crazy part is, yeah. the inspiration ain't changed. Yeah, it ain't changed. You know what yeah, yeah, ain't yeah, nothing yeah. about me changed. Ain't nothing I ain't, changed. I ain't yeah. no yeah. I'm still that same person. Yeah, yeah. I'm just not down there no more. Uh, yeah, I'm just I'm up, up here. there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. now my voice echoes. And you yeah, know what's crazy yeah. is now even the one percenters hear us. Yeah, they they gonna hear it. Yeah, yeah, they gonna, yeah. From yeah. down here, they couldn't hear us, nor did they want to. Now, now, I'm the, they, now I'm in the midst of them. They yeah. got to hear us. Yeah, yeah. You feel they, me? they got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's yeah. just, yeah. that's my life, man. That's mm -hmm. my purpose is to keep, uh, stay intertwined in the community, man. I know how much the community gave me and, mm -hmm. and what it did to help me and people yeah. in the community. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and I wish I could name all the different people that in some way and shape have helped me. Mm -hmm. um, but they know who There's they are. There's a lot are. along the way, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's more than people yeah. seem to acknowledge at times. Yeah. A lot yeah. of people get successful in forget the little people. Yeah. Or people. they hit you with that. I done this all by myself. Shit, yeah, so many people on the way, man. And I'm, yeah. I'm from Richmond, Kentucky, where it's proven that a tribe raises a child. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know? Absolutely. I done got towed on a gang of times acting up in front of somebody else's house. Yeah, you know I remember mom? your neighbor used to could whoop you. Yeah. And it was yeah, like, they was like your mama. To, yeah. Used to could. Yeah. Shit, that's still happening. What still. you talking about? <laughs> shit, that shit still go down in Kentucky. Neighbor so. beat your ass. Yeah, yeah, and rat on you and tail when yeah. you're on your way home and everything. Yeah, yeah, so for real. That's just, the, that's how I grew up, man. Yeah. And, and although I grew up in Vegas, like yeah. until five, I was, I was a Kentucky boy. Yeah. You know, it's tattooed on me. You feel me? Wow. It's tattooed. Damn, that is. Damn, that's country dope. born. I think, Ray. I think you, like, here's my take on even like Vegas and other places, like, you naturally gonna grow up and get older. Yeah. That's a given, yeah. right? Yeah. But how you raised yeah. says that foundation. a lot. Yeah, that, foundation. That, 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 yeah. Says, that says yeah. a lot, man. And that, and that be, so back, let's go all the way full circle back to the beginning, because mm -hmm. we sitting here. Mm -hmm. That's why Jerome is my guy. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why Billy Richardson was my guy. Mm -hmm. That's why there's a certain amount of people in, mm -hmm. in my inner circle, because mm -hmm. He was brought up right. He was brought up right. Yeah, yeah. He was brought up right. Yeah. And they are the people I, I in can, the I can I can meet people mm -hmm. all day long mm -hmm. and spend some time with certain people and you just don't feel it. You don't like, feel it. Yeah, it, it ain't there. No, you know, yeah. you know if it's there. You ain't got you the same upbringing yeah. I got. Yeah, yeah. You, know, you know if it's there. You know personal things, it's personal, this is yours. Mm -hmm. You ask, can I use this? Mm -hmm. Can I sit here? Mm -hmm. There's certain ways you deal with people. Yeah. And yeah. in this world we live in today, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's mine, I it's take mine. it. Oh, yeah. this, you ain't yeah. got your name yeah. on it, yeah. it's yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. shit don't matter, you own nothing. Yeah. I bet I take it from you. Yeah. Yeah, that's where yeah. we at now with mm -hmm. this shit? That's where we at. Cause I say to you again, I'm a black man. Yeah. They've been taking from us for years. Yeah. So if, if, if that's what we in right mm -hmm. now, I'd rather not be around you. Yeah. You know I can't. I mean? Yeah, I ain't gonna be around. I, I got. I gotta fight the world. I can't mm -hmm. be in my inner circle mm -hmm. fighting my inner circle too. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Fighting too hard. And That's yeah, what yeah. us as black men really need to. If there's anything I can say on this show that really preach what I'm really, us as black men mm -hmm. need to stop being so standoffish. Like, hey, yeah, white people man. this and Mexicans yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, be the best us we can be, mm -hmm. and you'll start to see that we can form a circle with those of us that mm -hmm. are like us. This are like you that, can't yeah. make everybody like us. No, everybody ain't cut. But like But there's that. some people in mm -hmm. every race, creed, and color mm -hmm. that's. Built from the same it, cloth it, we it built is, from. It is. Grab it them is. people. It's just finding them. You feel yeah, me? It's just finding them. You right. That's true. Real talk, man. So the streets of Vegas, man. We're gonna wrap this up and get out of here. Man, anything we need the people to know, Ram Black, where I we love can find my mama, you man. That's first and foremost. I love my mama. My Absolutely. mama got bone cancer, man. She's a fighter. So how can I complain about anything? She don't never complain. Right. So that's right. first and foremost, mama. I love you. 
Um, come check me out on YouTube, Ran Black, R A N B L A C C, mm-hmm. uh, Reverb Nate. Man, everywhere, man. I ain't got to tell y'all where to go. Y'all okay. know where to go, man. Anywhere you go to find me, Ran Black, R A N B L A C C. The Brotherhood Project is out. Spotify, Make sure y'all check that. everything, everywhere, yeah, yeah. everything. Absolutely, you got that distribution, man. dog. You can get us everywhere now, that dog. Distribution. You can find us everywhere. <laughs> and uh, don't forget that show uh, June, June 22nd. 22nd. Ninja, what's the, what's Ninja Karaoke. Ninja Karaoke Bar. Ninja Karaoke. Um, Ninja Karaoke Nightclub. Excuse okay, me, downtown okay. Okay. Main Street. I wish I knew the address. It's on Main Street. They know where it's at. Uh, music yeah. and laughs. Second okay. day of summer. It's going down Las Man, Vegas. We're putting be... it back yeah, together for you. Because June twenty yeah. first. Yeah, yeah. catch up, baby. I see catch where up. You're at. I see where you at. Catch I up, baby. <laughs> catch up. Absolutely, man. Okay, the streets of Vegas ran black. We are gonna get Ski. out of here, man. Peace. The, the streets of Vegas.